What is up, DGBA Nation? It's me, Brother Quang, aka Among Us Blaster, here with me. You gotta introduce yourself. People don't know who me is. I'm me. I'm me. You right, well, know. I'm, I'm here with me. Yep. I, yep. Da, 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 da. You you lost your chance to introduce yourself, buddy. And today we're going to be talking about the 24 teams in Quick Feet in order. It's basically. I, I like how I like how there's like a like a massive difference between the energy that you bring and my somber tone. Well, uh. One of us is way more excited to do this than the other. One of us. One of us got dragged along, and the other one is me. Yeah, pretty much. Which, you know, you can, take, you, can take that, you can take that both ways, actually. But anyway, we're going to talk about all 24 teams in Quick Feet, in order, and then we're going to give them a grade, because uh, doing regular PR is kind of hard, because it's kind of hard to rate these Quick Feet teams in order, because there's so many of them. People are going to get really upset. No, we no, it's that's how it is. We were lazy, okay? We were, we were lazy. lazy. We were also lazy. Oh, so, oh, so, if you really want the rankings... There's there's KHD PRs and there's J Caps PRs. We so can't like, find the J Caps. Like like, like 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 how could we even top that? I mean, you've got two like the two of the greatest minds in draft league coming together to give quick feet rankings. Like how how are we meant to compete with that? Uh, the answer is that our PRs are much more easily accessible because I can't find the J Caps PRs and you asked for him to send them to you and he just sent you a prep doc. Yeah, what, what, a, no PRs. what a kind soul. But anyway, we're going to get into a first team and the first order. Dark, the Elm Street Dark Rise. I got a notification for Adobe. Dark, the Elm Street Dark Rise, EST, GMT-5 with Iron Valiant, Deoxys Speed, Goldango, Lander Asterion, Cyclozar, Terra Superior, Araquanid, Typhlosion, and Smeargle. Has they got one of your favorite Pokemon at the bottom. Yeah, it has a, has a Araquanid, man. I love Araquanid. Yeah, and you love Smeargle. Yeah, and I love Smeagol. All right, so the first uh, thing that stands out to me with this team uh, is first pick is the top the top three. I'm a big fan of that top three because you got Valiant. Valiant's like it's just a very solid Pokemon. You can you can break with it. It's a good cleaner. You can boost your energy. You can specs it. You can band it. You can scarf it. Fire, not fire. Fairy fighting is just a really good typing. And then you pair that with Dio Speed, excellent Hazard Setter, obviously fast as fuck. Uh, you can do you can just kind of do a lot with it, and then Goldengo, which is the perfect anti removal Pokemon, because it spin blocks, defog blocks, uh, hits pretty hard, recover nice defensive, nice defensive backbone, to well not really defensive backbone, but like it's a nice Pokemon that can take hits and then recover off the damage and like paralyze shit for Iron Valiant to clean up later. Sorry, I ran out of gas. Hold on. Do you, do, do, you, do you want me to... Yeah, uh, I, I, I tired myself. All right, this is, this is where I come in. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I would have appreciated a better um, segue to me, but I that's I'm fine. Not, like, segues are not my strong suit. All right, all right, all right yeah, I'll give my thoughts. So, yeah, I think I, I think this is a pretty solid team to start off with. I think Iron Valiant first pick. I think that's a respectable first pick. I know some people um, like didn't really agree with this pick. I think like I think Valiance like it's it's a very strong like mixed attacker and I don't think there's too many mons uh, in the format that like can like go so well like both physically and specially whilst also like providing like such a good speed tier and speed control and the fact that it can boost your energy. Yeah. Uh, so I think it actually provides a lot as a first pick. I think it does need some support, but um, I think um, pairing it with Deoxys Speed I think was a very good pairing. Obviously Deoxys Speed pressures um poisons or like terror poisons that people will use for uh valiant and also giving like uh hazard stack which i think is like very nice with um valiant and i think yeah like like you said like deoxys speed it can go like mo multiple different routes um in the builder which you have to respect and then obviously gold dango <laughs> bit of a bitch play you know um but um it's obviously it's, it's very good with um with the hazard stack. Uh Lando's a solid pivoter. Yeah. Uh Psychozar, Shadtail, Shenanigans. Yeah. I think that actually very solid on this team, Shadtail. I I gotta um, agree with that. Normally I don't like Cyclozar all that much. But I think I think there's a lot of things that benefit from Shedtail. Like Valiant benefits from it. 
Honestly, I think the entire top six benefits from Shed Tail a lot. Yeah. And then you have Superior. Um, I think that's a Terra user. Yeah, it's Terra Superior. Yeah. And uh, I yeah, I think I think Terra Sup like it, it, it I think it'll be I think it'll be solid. Um like I know there's I know there's some people who are also are like the Terra Superior is like overhyped. And I, I think yeah, maybe it maybe it is a bit overhyped, but I think it still can be um like a really solid mod. Not just like I'm not just looking at it from like a stellar Terra point of view, just like just using regular Terra with it. Yeah, like Terra because it, it it's very easy for it to like um to like scale out of control um with that extra coverage. And then like Araquanid, wet webs is nice. Typhlosion. Typhlosion's um, Mirror is kind of there. Yeah, Typhlosion not, just uh, improve its much. PRs uh, pay, um score which you know i rate and smiggle i i think for two points is very solid with all the utility it can provide yeah did you so, yeah, see, i think i think it's replay? yeah i did see the replay <laughs> yes yeah so broken. bella prep for that offensive smiggle if, in case you aren't didn't uh don't know what didn't see the replay basically it's smiggle it right used palum i'll link it right here okay well you're gonna you're gonna show the, the show the game no i'll just post the link oh okay gotcha you will make an episode, and we'll be like, not an episode, a chapter, and you look at it in the description. I, oh, I see what you mean now, okay, yeah. God has, um, you don't understand this shit at all. No, I don't. Um, I'm not, we're not on the same wavelength, it seems. Yeah, speaking of not fine. understanding this shit, I do have one complaint with this team yep. that I don't really like. Uh, obviously... Uh, I'm not a, not a huge fan of the two shitters, but they're the two shitters. It's this is basically like a seven month, basically a six month team with the option of a rack when it if it fits. Because I don't really don't think you're bringing um, Typhlosion and Smiggle. I think I think often. the top six is solid. It's good enough and to then, do that. Yeah, and then it's it's better than some other people's top sixes, which yeah. we'll get into. But, um, and I I think I think a rack when it's it's Typhlosion, and Smiggle, they're all like niche. Like you can bring them to niche matchups. Yeah, I think Arachnid it's... especially is definitely bringable. Yeah, I think I think it's just about possible enough essentially. Mm, and then um... the top six is good enough. But I have one, I have one little complaint, and I might be overstating things a little bit. I might be completely yeah. wrong in my analysis, but I'm not sure. a big fan of the breaking power of the top six because I feel like Valiant Valiant can break, but it doesn't necessarily always want to. I feel like Valiant's better as like a cleaner. Which I guess to with Terra Superior you can use that instead, and you also have Dio Speed. You can scarf these two, but I feel like the best way, to, the I personally believe that the best way to use a Valiant is as like a, like a win con, and I'm not a big fan of the breaking power on the rest of the team because like Goldengo and Lando hit pretty hard, but if you can't hit them well, then you might have a hard time setting things up for Valiant to win, unless if like Valiant can just beat things, which to be fair it can. Valiant's definitely a Pokemon that's capable of just like being sent in and its coverage and like s stats are just good enough to just win sometimes if you get like a like a speed boost or like you get like an sd or a calm mind but i'm not a huge fan of the breaking power and i'm also not a huge fan of uh i, I just generally just I'm not a huge fan of cyclosar even though it fits well on this team uh i just think that having it feels like the fact that it's one of the six means that it's going to come every game which means that like people are obviously going to play around it. They know that they're going to have to play around it. Like unlike a Cyclozar on a team with like other good options, you know Cyclozar is like the like the sixth bring. Unless if it's like an Araquidid matchup. So I think that's going to make the Shed Tail a little bit worse. But I still think I think, this is I think he's forced team. to bring Cyclozar regardless because I I'm, I think it's its only removal, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's also the only removal. So, but I mean, he's he does have hazard stack at least. Yeah, so, you got so. good hazard stack and yeah. good hazard blocking. I mean, yeah, I think like his his setters are Lando and, and Dio. Dio Speed, which and I, I mean, Araquanid, I guess. Yeah, yeah, with Sticky. Oh, and Big Smiggle too. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's settings probably cool. fine enough. Um, but yeah, Psychozoa's probably going to have to come to quite a bit. I actually disagree. I actually think his breaking's like good enough. Um, yeah, I, that that's like that. That might just be like a me personally. Yeah, if yeah, I was yeah. Using this team, that's I'd be fair. like, I feel. I wish I had better breakers because Superior yeah. is not a breaker. 
Um, my other issues I think I have is uh, I think defensively it's kind of a bit eh. Yeah. Um, but he well. kind of he can just kind of play it like very HO. I think I would have liked maybe like another pivot, um, like a slow another slower pivot maybe to mm -hmm. get some stuff in. I think Landris is a pretty decent pivot. Landris is a good. Landris but I think, is a good pick for this team. But I think I, I think I think that's it's kind of going to end up being forced into being that a lot of the time, just so we can get in like Deoxys speed and Valiant in yeah. easier. But yeah, it's it's not it's not bad overall. I think as well. Um, I think it, only Dark Resist is Valiant. I think. I it's think. Dark Resist Valiant. That yeah, yeah. Is it, which is not ideal. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Not super great. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it's it's def I think it's got its flaws, but I also think that its strengths are pretty, pretty, pretty apparent. I think I think yeah. it's definitely something. It's not a bad team. No, no, no I think I think team. this is solid. I think the team's solid. Team. What what do we yeah. think? What do we what do we grade in this one? So how are we doing the grades is like a number we or a letter? A, or can yeah, I just say something a random? To F. A to F. Uh, I'm just gonna put random ass letters for all of these. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give this team. I'm give this team a B minus. Give it a B minus. I'm gonna give it a Typhlosion out of ten. That's my rating. Yeah, well, you love Typhlosion. I and love if, Typhlosion, you, so you, I guess I love the team. I guess I love the team. If you rearrange the letters in Typhlosion, you could probably make a B somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, I, I'd probably say this is yeah. It's, it's, sure. it's, it's I'll, I'll give team. it a B. It's I'll got give some, it a it's B. It's got some problems, but you know what? It gets the job done. Good, good start. Yeah. Uh, definitely about to get followed up by a team that is a little bit worse. Uh, uh more you know, than one way. It's my A plus team coming up. What do you mean? Uh, so now we're gonna talk about Yehudel's team. I'll give him this. Spectre, Terra Sneasler is an excellent start. I yeah. think these two, really, really, really hard to deal with both of these on the same team. And then Samurai Hasui is just, it, it sets spikes. It, it's a water type and it clicks, it clicks not, clicks spikes. It's it's pretty good. It's just a good Pokemon. Yeah, it, it's, I think it's pretty solid on this team as well, uh, actually. Uh, and then afterwards, the team gets a little bit worse. Uh, and then you'll notice that there's uh, this Sandy Shocks, which I think Sandy Shocks is all right. Uh, it's nice to have a ground type with paired with a Rillaboom that doesn't have to worry about clicking Earthquake, like doesn't have to worry about clicking High Horse Power. I think I think it's better with Terra, but I understand why yeah. he got it because it's, that yeah, yeah probably there's no Terra on this thing. Which, it's probably because he knew he was getting Rillaboom. Yeah, you got Rillaboom. Perfect. I think Rillaboom is pretty good on this team because you need something to proc Sneasler, and I know a certain yeah. somebody. That did not get a Rillaboom to proc their Sneasler, nah. and they weren't very happy about it. Uh, I think yeah. after Rillaboom, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think Flacky or Pink Urchin really yeah. uh, cover what cover about that. So, maybe, maybe, but yeah. I don't know. Spinaf yeah. boost, not for me. I think after Rillaboom, this team uh, kind of starts to show its. Flaws. Okay, I think, I think, I think Hatterene's fine as well. I think I, it's, is it's fine. a lot better with Terra, similar to. Um, uh, what's it, Sandy Shocks? But it, it it's okay, and it um gives him a, a like kind of ha like fake hazard control, I guess, because yeah. like the first couple of ones don't really. You don't want to run. Yeah, boots. Yeah, they, yeah, they don't. Remove. You don't want to run boots on like most of this stuff, and then Bravery um, is next. And Bravier yeah, yeah, is... yeah. Then he got his uh, remover himself and big yeah. Bravier, and then and then and holy then, and then, shit! What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck, you hoodles? What Why the you... actual <laughs> fuck? Four one pointers. I mean, surely that could have just been compressed into getting two. I'm, I could don't have been know. Two Pokemon. I guess it's minimum nine, isn't it? And he was on seven. Yeah, but he had so... he had six points, and you could have gotten a five pointer and a one pointer. And you got three one pointer, uh, technically four one pointers, and you terrored one of them. I mean, it's it's and a good meme. And they're all bad. I don't know. I think I think Swallow's okay. Swallow's I think, okay, but uh, I don't think it's necessary on this team. Uh, I think I think Carbink, uh, Car Carbink's also okay, but like he has a lot of like spikes, like hazard setters already. Yeah, you have Samurai and Sandy Sharks. 
Well, actually, I mean, you're you you are fine. I, 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 guess, I guess he has one rocker because he got his even sliggy. No, it's Santa which... Shocks. No, no, no. Besides, uh, sa uh, yeah, 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 it's just it's just Sandy Shocks if you don't include Car Bank. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I've heard Suin Sugu from the last PRs I did counters um Iron Bundle, so okay. I guess well, we'll see how that goes. Did anyone draft Iron Bundle in this pool? I don't Doesn't look know. like it. Well, isn't that just a shame? Uh, and then Webs is nice as well. I mean, I think I no, I, no, I don't think. Obviously, I feel like you just look at the bottom four and it makes the team look really, really bad. But I don't think it's I don't think it's a, an absolute car crash of a team. I think like the oh, top I two. Have, I got a problem with this team. Uh, all right, all right, go on. What's your problem? I think this team is like. I remember the last team you said it was kind of lacking defensively. Oh god, yeah, yeah. This team is very much uh, lacking defensively. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> fucking Christ! I, you kind of have to just run HO. With he, this. He, 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 yeah, he. I think this is. It's not a bad HO team. It's at not least. bad. I think the top three really suits itself to HO. Yeah. Roll boom is like it saves you from dying to ground types. I if you hate every day. Yeah, I mean he's, he's got quite a few he's got quite a few mons weak to ground, although the majority of them are just the shitter mons. Yeah, like just all the shitter really mons are really bad against ground. I wish I think Hatterene you would really would have liked if this was just a regular fairy and not a f psychic fairy. Just to have something yeah, that can come in not. on Nox. Because like Samurott doesn't really want to do that. Bro, is that is only fucking Barry resist this big swallow? Yeah, maybe that's why that's he got a, it. Yeah, I think I think that's why he got because he got Assyrian Sligu and Sneasler, which isn't great. Like if like a fire type shows up, you just do, like you have to use Samurott to switch into it, and then like what if it just kills you? Oh, uh, sure. Like what if they have an Infernape and they just kill you? What if they have an Iron Moth and they just kill you? Uh, he has some. He has some decent priority options at yeah, least. Yeah, you got like Samurott's got priority. Rillaboom's got priority. Yeah. Um. I said decent, not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it's solid. No, I'll call it solid. It's solid. Yeah, it's, it's solid. Yeah, they're, both so Glide, they're both. Glide is still yeah. alright, and like Sucker yeah. Punch and Aqua Jet is like decent. Yeah. Um. What but... else can I say? What, what What else can I say? Oh God. Yeah. This team is so weak to ice types as yeah. well. That's why the Sligu is there, even though, like... That's, I mean, it doesn't I don't really... Think this thing, I don't think this thing's beating a Kyurem. Yeah, well, I don't know if he plays backs. KHD. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, just re it's just really, really weird. But, but the thing is, though, Spectria versus uh, stupid players, which uh, I'm not saying quick feet players are stupid, but people who, like, couple. don't play... Okay, well... Yeah, don't do that to Leaf, you know. Don't do that to Leaf. Oh, I wasn't um, gonna say Leaf, but like now that you mention it, yeah, that's true. But like people who like don't play like smartly around it, I feel like it's like you can instantly like get punished and it can snowball control. Um, same with Sneezer. Like he has a he, like he can he has all very solid win cons at the very least. Yeah, there's a lot um, of ways you can win, but there's also a lot of ways you can lose. Yeah. And I do, I do kind of understand the premise of the team. I think he just ran out of points. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I think uh, Yehudos might just be a victim of the quick feet budget. Yeah, which um, we, we won't, we won't blame anyone in particular for that. Yeah, Sun Sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can we can blame Sun Sun uh, later. Uh, I'm going to give this team a grade. I'm gonna give this one a D. A D plus. I'm gonna give this. I'm, I'm gonna give this a. I'll give this a horse. Cause I think I think it's very flawed, but it's not like god awful. You can definitely win. I think I think I think I think it's I think it's better than the D personally, just because I think That's the why top I give it a threats. D plus. I think the top threats could possibly carry it, but I understand the D. Um, but yeah, I think. I, no, I, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Look, bro, look, you look at the bottom four and, like, of course, of course. You have four Pokemon that are, like, 
practically unbringable. But yeah, the issue, yeah, it's just the massive issue of this team is that, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, um, it's just not enough flexibility within the team. I think, you like it, you're just very limited into what, um, what mons you can bring. Because obviously, like the one pointers, like I'm not like no, I don't think none of them are completely unbringable. It's just like why? Yeah, it's basically just in very it's just niche matchups essentially. But maybe maybe that's maybe that's his plan. I think mm -hmm. like honestly, I think I think this team will actually end up being okay compared to what it looks like on paper. I'll, yeah. I'll back your hoodles a bit on this. I I will. Uh, not. I'll give it. I'll give it you, like a C. You gave it a horse. Yeah, sorry, a horse. Sorry, a okay. horse. My bad, my bad. No C for you. All right, horse. speaking of people that are offensive, uh, Sun Sun, we didn't even, I didn't, we didn't list off the Pokemon on Viewhoodle's team, so, and I won't because we already went over it, but I will talk about Sun Sun's. He's got Terra Regieleki, Slowking Galar, Baxcalibur, Enamorous, Alomomola, Hariyama, Crocodile, Terra Grottle, Orthworm. Now, I got to correct an error made by somebody else who ranked Sun Sun's oh. team and said that it wasn't offensive enough. Yeah, there is absolutely no offense on this there team, man. There's no offense. There's no on this offense. Team. There ignore, is no speed. Ignore it's that so passive. No, there's a Terra Regieleki and a Bax Caliber and an Enamorous and a Crook. And a. Like, yeah, that yeah. isn't even passive. There's like two passive Pokemon on this team. Yeah. <laughs> Big big shell smash grottle. How can you call that passive? Like Aloma Mola and Orthworm are pretty passive, and I don't count Grottle as a Pokemon. So we basically uh, at least Allo can at least Allo has some priority. Yeah, Allo yeah. has you, flip turn. If if you if if uh, he gets positioning wrong, then yeah, um, Allo can get exposed. Yeah. But um, but yeah, this team. Yeah, this, this team, this team is built to win. This team is built to win fast, and I think that's a strength that it has. Is that it's. Very strong. You got yep. a lot of strong... Like, Bax is a strong Pokemon. Enamorous is a strong Pokemon. Crook is pretty effective at, like, knocking, EQing. Hariyama hits pretty hard. Slowking is good at positioning for Bax and, like, Regieleki. Obviously, Regieleki is, a, like, a pain in the ass. Uh, you don't have to use it as, like, an endgame mon. You just, like, send it in whenever it fits, and it just does a lot of damage. Not as much damage as you would think... Because, like, Transistor isn't as good as it used to be. But it still hits pretty freaking hard. Uh, Grottle doesn't count as a Pokemon. Alomomola, I actually think, is pretty nice to have on this team. Just as a blanket check to things. It can pass wishes to the Hello. rest of the team. Yeah. If you have to, like, play slow. It can pivot. Uh, and then Orthworm. I, I, I don't know what Orthworm is really doing here. Aside from being the only ground well immunity. Because he kept getting sniped off his steel types. Yeah, he wanted Fortress and then <laughs> Cage Deep. Then he got sniped. Then he five. wanted Copperajar and then that got sniped. Yeah, it's just a cope pick. Uh, now we can talk about the bad parts. Uh, this team has to win quickly because it doesn't have a lot of longevity. Like, Bax, he has a regen core at least. He's got a that regen. He's got a, a uh, what, what you, he's got a regen core, but outside of the regen core, not a lot of this is like necessarily sticking around for long. Like Bax. Isn't the bulkiest thing in the world? Enamorous can get. Like, oh, they're frail. And, but yeah. And Am if they're not frail, they just don't necessarily stick around for all that long. All right, Tonsa, I want to see a 200 turn game, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. If you can manage 200 turns with this team, I will be impressed. I think I think Sansom. I think I think Sansom kind of got bailed out with um the fact that some mods like lasted super long. Cause like I'll be honest, I wasn't super big on his um, G King pick two thing with Eleki, but I, I think it. the fact that Enamorous. No, I mean I get it. Right, I get the fact it. That I just, think, I just think he has better four options. Is like, come on. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. That, that's a hard bailout there. But, I mean, overall, I've, I, 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 I think, I think the team's pretty solid. Yeah, if you it works. Ask me. I think it's a perfectly fine team. That will, I think, have some rough matchups if, uh, it does if like the offense just doesn't end up like matching up well. Yeah, I think I I I do I do think the team is like outside of like it is slightly slow. It is at it, least it, for Gen Nine. Like matter. Enamorous is your second fastest mon. Yeah. So they did have a point. It is a little he, slow, but he you do does have, have he does have like 
He does like have like Scarf Croak. Yeah, like, Scarf Croak. Bax and DD. Bax and DD. Like he, he has like. That's and, like, it. He, he has some priority at least. It's it's not horrible. Yeah. But um, it is kind of. I do slow, think it's though. a valid criticism. It's like it's slow outside of Regieleki and like Enamorous, but yeah. it's not like. If you didn't have Regieleki, then like you would definitely be slow as balls. I think this team would have liked a some better priority and also probably a ground answer that isn't Grottle or Earthworm. The base. I mean, I think Allo can deal Allo with some can help. Allo can help, but, but... Like, I feel like like real like like hard hitting like like Allo can handle like an Iron Treads, but like does it want to take like like a banded EQ or like a powerful Earth Power repeatedly over and over? I mean. Not necessarily. Who knows? I I haven't asked Alan Momola herself, but maybe, maybe she do Maybe she's into that. Yeah. Uh, I don't, um, I don't like this team as much as Darks, but I like it more than Yehudels. Yeah, I think I think a good fighting type could also pressure this team pretty well. Yeah, um, like, like it. Like I think I think G King's gotta go like, overdrive into making yeah, G -King sure. G King and Enamorous gotta check the fightings. Yeah. And an Amorous, yeah, I mean, never check your fantasy. It's just like if a fighting type get um, is positioned well, mm -hmm. then I think it's pretty annoying for Sun Sun. Yeah. Um. Because if Reg, if it's not in range of Regieleki, then it might you might just lose. And then and then it like comes down to whether like G King has like the right resist barrier potentially. Yeah. If if that's a route that Sun Sun's gonna try to do, but like look look at what a Shifu could do to this team. I'm looking. It outspeeds Yum. everything but Regieleki and Enamorous. Yeah, it'd probably need to be Terra, I think, to um, do, like, super, super damage. But, yeah, yeah no, I agree. Like... Um, but, yeah, Shifu? I think... Someone has Shifu in this pool. Let's go. Santan is saved. Son -son... No, someone does. Oh, it's not Terra, though. Um, also, it's only removals, like, Regieleki. Regi I think that's okay. Re... Le okay, Leki can't spin... Like, Aleki forces a lot of switches. I think. Yeah. No, he, I think I think it's like, okay, and it's, and it always has room to run spin because you you have like no 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 yeah I agree. You have I like agree. stab, Terra blast, like volt switch, and then a filler move. Yeah. But but I do I, I do think I do, I do think this team doesn't particularly like getting hazard stacks. So no no. It it, it just means that Lucky always like wants to select. It's like if you want to run like screens or something. Yeah. It, it it it's just it's just it just like slightly lowers its flexibility. You gotta it's run not, screens like, on something else. Massive issue. But yeah, uh, I'm ready to give Sun Sun his final grade. Um, I also maybe would have liked a bit more like. Pip oh, actually, you know, no, 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 no I take it back. I take that back. I think is all right. I think G it's King, okay. I think it's G King okay. and Aloma yeah. Mola can get things in pretty yeah. reasonably. Uh, anyway, Sun Sun, I'm giving you a C because it's. I think I think, you know what? No, I think it's a C plus because you know, it it's good. It gets the job done. Uh, I do think though that you can end up getting overwhelmed and just losing. If you have to play a longer game, and you also are in bad shape against fighting types and ground types, so like, don't fight a great tusk. Uh, I'd give this, I'd give this a B plus. Uh, I, I dig it. Mm, I don't dig it as much, but I'm just a hater, according to Sun Sun. He's gonna bitch so much about this video. He's gonna be like, <gasps> we call this team slow. <laughs> Uh, I mean, don't don't argue. He's, he's for got him. he's got Trick Room G King, man. How how can he be slow? All right, we're moving on to the next person. He's I'm got Shell argue. Smash Grottle. Come on, man. Come on. All right, next coach is Meta, the Waffling Whoopers with Dragapult, Terra King Gambit, Glamora, Infernape, Enamorous Theory, and Shaman Gastrodon, Terra Kilowattril, Gotharita. Big thing I noticed about this team: a lot of Pokemon that are bringable. A lot more than, like, some of the other teams so far. I count eight Pokemon that I would bring to games and be like, I feel good about this. Seven and a half. I don't know how I'd feel about Gastrodon. But, like, you know, seven and a half is pretty good. Um, 
What 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 mod would you definitely not want to bring to games? I don't want to bring Gotharita to games. I mean, I mean, Gotharita at least it does something. I think you know? out of the, all the Pokemon listed, it's the one I'd be least likely to bring. But but I li- but the it's thing is right. If you if you if you don't like prep for it at all, and then it's just able to trap something, then oh, you're yeah, kind of yeah, fucked. Yeah, yeah, that, that's so like in that sense, it's actually like. But I also it's don't not necessarily think that it's something that like if you are regularly bringing the Gotharita. Then maybe there's no, like the, no, no. But I mean, I don't think he. I, yeah, like you said, I don't think he has to. So all in all, that's yeah. And good. Speaking, Thumbs speaking up. Of things that you have to do. You got Dragapult and you got King Gambit, and that's a really good top two. I like the yeah, Aura no, for hazards on this nice. team. Although uh, the fact that it's also the only removal is a little concerning. Yep. But we press on. Infernape, I actually think is a very good fit here. Because I think you this team likes a nice fighting type. It's got a nice speed tier for the team. It gives you something that's like it's, it's a good scarfer. So it's like it's like if Pult is like has to worry about scarfers, like oh Infernape. It's not a lot of good scarfers that are faster than Infernape, although they definitely do exist. Uh, Enamorous Therian, I I think it's just a pretty solid mon. Uh, Shaman's there for ground types, which this team definitely needed a ground resist, and I think Shaman's a fine one, especially since it's only eight. Uh, Gastrodon is just kind of a a fat and then Terra Killer Watcher is another speed option and with Terra it can hit decently hard although I don't think you're ever going to bring it over Gambit not as, as a Terra Mon you might bring Killer Watcher and Gambit but like I don't think you're going to Terra Killer Watcher all that often it definitely has its moments though yeah I mean I mean concern, concern the fact like you're going to Terra Gambit most of the time but like I think having like the second option being Killer Waltrals, like it's it's solid at least because it's like, it's like a naturally fast mon, and like ele- electric mm. mons with te- like fast electric mons with Terra, I or think are like they're pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're, they're solid. That's so it, it, it does it does the job as a low tier, and it's okay with secondary Terra option. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's fine. Yeah, I, I, I think this team, it, it, I think it meshes pretty well together. I'm not really seeing any like blatant weaknesses like i don't think you get like demolished by grounds i don't think you get like it's got some nice defensive pieces it's got some good offensive pieces i don't think it's too passive it's not too forced into hyper offense it's just a nice nice well it's like it's like the it's like the kellogg's of teams it's well balanced it's moderately nutritious i think i think it works pretty well together it's kind of hard for me to, like, point out exactly why. I just think that, like, Pult's... I think Pult's a pretty good mon. I know people aren't as high on Pult, but it's still pretty good. And then Terra King Gambit speaks for itself. And then just, like... I think they're supported very well. Um, well, one weakness I can see with the team is that I think the only removal is Glamora. And I think you can... I mean, there are ways that you can kind of block Glamora from removing, so... Um... I guess I guess I'd consider that a weakness, um, but I don't think I don't think it's a massive weakness at the very least. Um, I think also the only ghost resist I see is in Gambit, which is okay. Um, that's fine because one, you have Dragapult that outspeeds and kills most ghost types, um, and two, Gambit's a pretty decent resist. Um, of course, not unless you tear it into a different type, like fairy or something. Yeah, which like yeah, then, you probably will do that a lot. Yeah, I think I think more of like a shadow ball coverage kind of thing is like kind of free, but yeah, I mean it's it's not. I don't think those are the biggest weaknesses in the world. Yeah, you can definitely get it done. You can make it. We can make it work. Um, uh, like well, I think I think I think Gastrodon. It's like it's 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 pretty abusable in the fact that it's like. Um, it, it, I think it's a bit of a momentum drain, and because those are mons get like, um, what do you call it? Um, trailblaze. I think it can get abused in that way, but I mean it's only six points, so yeah. It's what like can it's you do? Gastrodon. Yeah, and I, I think I, I think it's like I, I, I think it's not a bad fit on the team as well. So, yeah, actually, I don't have too much to hate about this team. I think, I think it's. Arguably the best team we've seen so it's defi- far. I think it's definitely the best team we've seen so far. It's so much so that uh, you're not going to be ready for this. I'm going to give this oh. one. I'm going to give this team an A. This is an A team. 
It, it, well, I mean, it is a team. You are correct. It's, it's a, a team. team. This is a an a, a team. team. I like this one a lot. Um, am I meant to give a ranking? Do you want? I you've been doing it like on and off. Um, I'll give it a young bishop because because there's that's an old an bishop. bishop. Oh, yeah, I'll I give it a young bishop. Oh, you're such a comedian. You're such a, uh -huh. you're such a comedian. Haha. <laughs> Uh, I don't up. get paid enough to uh, come up with good jokes. You don't get fucking paid to do jokes. That's why I'm the joke. Anyway, next up we have KHD, the Jersey Pursuit with Palafin, Kurum with Terra, Meowskarada, Iron Moth, Fortress, Get Fucked Sun Sun, Gardevoir, Oricorio, Rhyperior, Terra Toxicroak, Sigaroth, <laughs> and Pikachu. Uh, uh, so there's two things uh, you'll note about uh, this team. Uh, the first thing is that I think the top four is like is really really solid and the second thing yep. you'll notice is that there is a terra toxic rogue for no reason where cage d is some sort of fucking demon i swear to god I this am guy i'm going to be honest i am 90 percent certain you could have still gotten the toxic croak gotten rid of these two one pointers and just tear the oricorio and i would like this team notably more now nah, but cage d he's like no, I need the electric type. Even though Oricorio can become an electric type. Pikachu and... does not count as an electric type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to, uh, uh, let, uh, let, let, let's, let's, let's go over the team's strong points first of all. Number one, top four, offensively together, is like super, super strong. Yeah. I think like it is, uh, it is very, very hard to basically defensively um, check. The four of them combined. And then I think his next couple of picks are okay. Like Fortress, it's not the best one in the world, but I think it does does a job here. Yeah, Fortress um, I think in this gen is alright. And I like Gardevoir. Yeah. Um Oracore is like fine. It's like another potential wink on that. I and wish a, a I remover. wish it was Terra, but it it's it's fine. I, I don't think it has that like, Oracore has to be Terra. Uh, well, I think in terms of what it could have been, I think it should have okay. been Terra. Even I think even Terra Rhyperior could have been decent for the team because mm, and then I I'll, I'll be honest like if you're on Terra Rhyperior I think I probably prefer Mudsdale on the team because yeah the team's well a bit I feel like Mudsdale was probably taken is it was it taken let's see did anyone take Mudsdale no no one even took it what the what the fuck yeah so what are you doing but I guess it gives him the flying resist whoop de doo and um. I guess, I guess another fire is um fire is just doesn't help. So you know, right here it still has its traits even if you aren't terroring it. As we saw in week one, Terra Rhyperia, kinda demonic. But then Keiji, he decided No, I need to go to the lab and cook up Terra Toxic Croak, which I mean Terra Toxic Croak is basically Terra Lucaria at home. And like I think we've like I thought we've all Came to the agree that Terra Lucara just end up being kind of mid. Yeah, and after people mid, hyped it up like initially. Worse. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's Terra Lucario, but it's a Toxic Croak instead. So you know, mm -hmm. I mean, on this thing, like Terra, Terra Toxic Croak, I, I thought like, it's, it's like you get one extra point for Terra. It's not the worst mon. He just had better options. I yeah, think. Yeah, the problem is that he had better options. If yeah, pretty if much. If that Oricorio and that Rhyperior were different Pokemon that didn't really want Terra, I'd be like. You know what? Let, let's let KHD have his fun. But yeah, uh, that that's a blemish on his otherwise very solid squad. I think that I think there's like there's some good Pokemon here. You, like I think Terra Kyurem is pretty good. I think that Terra Toxicroak is not. I think Palafin with Meowskarada is just a good pairing. They just kind of work well together, and I think I think that the. The and and then I think I then I think then you yeah Meowskarada of Iron Moth I think is also very solid. Yeah, the fire and, and then, Rascor, dude. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then I think Iron Moth's good with Kirim, and then I think Kirim's good with Palafin. So like, yeah, they they, they just it, work well together. Yeah, it's just really good synergy. I think defensively though, this team uh, yeah, a becomes weird. a lot more suspect. It's a so KHD. Shaky. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. So Keiichi's got to go balls to the wall offense, I think. That's why um, Fortress is there. Yeah, I think at least he, like, obviously he has a lot of shitters at the end, but I think at least he has, like, he, yeah, he probably has six bringable ones uh, yeah, to no, most matchups. So, it's that, he has that going for him, at he least. He has a solid top six, and then Oricorio and Rhyperior are good enough to bring. Yeah. 
Bigger Funny odd much. than Pikachu ain't doing shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's hazard control's fine. Um, yeah, you got good hazard setters and good removal. Yep. And hey, you've got the option. priority in Palafin and, more, more importantly, Terra uh, Toxic Croak. And Meowskarada. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah like, good like priority team. there. I like this team a lot. It's not quite an A team, but it is... Alright, do you, right, do you think if he terrored Oricorio um, with I don't that think, two I still, points... I don't think it would be an A team, but it would okay. probably make it a B plus. You're going to make it a B plus. But now okay, it's just I'm, a B. I'm going to give it an Acrobatics out of seven. Because well, you know when I because when I look at the Terra Talk to Crook, that that's what my face uh, turns into. Yeah, well, my face is gonna turn into a crowbat when we get to talking about K Savage's team. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> with Terra Iron Boulder, Urshifu Single, Iron Treads. There's the bundle. I we found the bundle. Screamtail, uh, Round Six Regular Rotom, Dragalge, Moltres, Terra Diplin, Greedent. Okay, I like that transition, but what I don't like as much is probably K Savage's team, unfortunately, because it's kind of it's just a, lot a of bit. Iron. This is a team that really would have liked to have been Kurchin. Yeah, man. Yeah, you should take one off uh, Matty uh, Brolix. Um, Maybe instead of the Terra take... Diplin, you just get a Kmin Kurchin. So, okay, so he has, like, um, Terra Iron. Uh, was it Iron Boulder? Yeah. Is that what's called? I don't even know what's fucking called. It's called Iron Boulder. I th I, yeah. I, I shared my screen for a reason. Bro, it it, it currently uh, I've I've been looking for it, but when it said that, it was currently at one forty four p. Oh yeah, see, I told you that was gonna happen. Yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. But um, yeah. What what do you think of Iron Boulder? I haven't used it, and I haven't really seen it be used. So I don't oh. know. I think it's... Oh, so you, do that, you have any predictions on that? Uh... I think it'll be all right. I don't think, I don't think it'll be 23 points level. Yeah, um, yeah. But having that higher than uh, Gouging Fire, maybe maybe that was a bit of an oversight, you know? But yeah. Well, I do got to give this team props, because they did draft a Dragalge, and that Pokemon is broken. Nice. That Pokemon is broken. Uh, what I don't like... As much as the Iron Treads, I think that Pokemon is mid. But it is a nice support Pokemon, and I think it is nice to have that and Screamtail. I think make this team. I think they help like balance it out, because you got a lot of offense. I feel like there's a lot of offense in those first like five picks. Yeah, and there, there's, there's a lot there of offense, is. a lot of defense, a random Rotom. I but really don't I, know why the Rotom. I, I, I don't early. really. I don't really know how I feel about the offense. To be like. I think it is good on paper. Um, I think like my f issue with like Oshifu is I think it's just a, it's just a bit too slow this gen. Yeah. And it's with like terrible. all the other, there's like so many other breakers now that like kind of like I'll do it. I do think it's like it's a decent pairing of Boulder at least. So mm -hmm. I understand it from that perspective. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe you could have gone uh, cheaper on like the fighting type and then like upgraded somewhere else but yeah i mean obviously i think he's still a pretty solid mom i think and then non-terra bundle like it is yeah. good speed it's and not, i guess it, it was kind of still hard. sitting there i mean it, okay it, it hits hard it hits but, it hard, but it doesn't it doesn't do it, enough to get like yeah like it, it, you it, lose like, out on the, a lot of ko's there's, there's some there's pokemon that like can just come in and check it and it's just like oh shit yeah yeah pretty much like, yeah uh, so it's it's a lot less brainless essentially, and I think I you, have like, to, you have to get you have to get flip turn a lot yeah, more. Yeah, I do like Dragology as like a, as like a special attacking option, and also it's like a pivot, so you can grounded poison. I just really like Dragology. I'm just gonna be honest, no bias, but uh, I really like Dragology. I think the Moltres is cool. The Moltres actually I think fits pretty well here too. Uh, it helps. Maybe break through some of the things that bundle. Well, actually, well, maybe not break through some of the things that bundle isn't like, because that's Iron Boulder and Shifu's job. But uh, I like can let bundle like click pump more by killing the things that resist pump. Um. How well, fucking long have we been going for these six teams? Forty-five minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Um. I think I think I I think Iron Treads might be pressured to do quite a bit of things for this team. Like 
It's like it's only removal. Um, he has Scream to at least for rocks. Yeah. And I think it's going to have to do a lot of, like, defensive pivoting for this team. Mm -hmm. Given how, of, like, an offensive nature it is. So, I think if people, like, manage to pressure the treads, then he kind of has, like, a bit of a harder time. Yeah. Like, um, I think, I think he just becomes a little more exposed in a sense. Mm -hmm. Um, also, I think the team's like, it, it's a bit weak to dark types as well. Yeah. Cause I think the only resist is Dia Shifu. Yeah. And, um, well, if you haven't had fairy coverage, uh oh, you are in some trouble. Some may say. Terra Fairy King Gambit is going to kill you. That, and that would be very, very mean. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I think the only the only ice resist is fucking bundle. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only ice resist is bundle because he has the Moltres. Embarrassing. So. Yeah. So yeah, some defensive um, weaknesses um, in there, but. It's. Kind I mean, of the offense like, is bad at least. It's a bit. It's just kind of a bit lacking. Yeah, it's that not, that's how I view it. It's not, it's not bad, bad, but it's just it's just kind of lacking. You know, yeah, worthy, I don't know. worthy of a C minus grade. Um, you know, I kind of, I kind of view it similar to how I view Yehudos as team a bit, but I think, think Yehudos. Uh, how I view it is Yehudos is like better upside, but Yehudos also only has like fucking like four Pokemon, five and a half Mons. I think K Savage has like a lot of usable Mons. Yeah, at but least a bit least, more. You got at least seven. And like, he's got he's got Terra Diplin, which you know if J Caps and Spoink were here, I'd say that one. that's mm. the greatest one of all time. But yeah, but I don't know if I fall into that category. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, I'm feeling this is a I C think Green and Springer Ball for, for one. Yeah, I'd probably put it around that as well. Yeah. Ish. Uh, anyway, we can move on to the next team now. After I t edited an OBS, we're halfway through Pool One, Pool A. Let's go. Oh, we get to talk about my good pal, Wagon Fruit, Doki the Dingus, Jason, the rugged, the rugged Reggie Rocks. Rugged. <laughs> the rugged Reggie Rocks with Darkrai, Zapdos, Terra Ape, Swampert, Tinkaton, Ogre Pond, Quillfish, Mousehold, Hitmonchan. Um, something happened to this team like halfway through. Because I think that top, off, um, that top what's it called, three, Iron Moth. He gets sniped off an of Iron Moth. Like, immedi almost immediately. Yeah, because then... I remember he, he was going to take Cinderace, right? And then, um... Wait a I minute. Mean... No, let me let me look at how this draft is going. No, he did get sniped off of Iron Moth, I think. Well, wait, wait, hold on. I remember KHD telling me that. <laughs> no, he's just stupid and took Swampert first. Beast. Yeah, no. I mean, Swampert's also a pretty snipeable board. I maybe you just assumed that a Iron anyone Moth who's going to draft it was better. probably going to tear it, but... I think Iron Moth would have made this better. So you got the first three picks. Very good Pokemon. I think Darkrai and Zapdos pair well together. They they got a nice pivot going, and then Terra Annihilate is just kind of... It's just a Terra Annihilate. It's kind of it's kind of a good Terramon to get when you don't know what you want a Terra. Because it just kind of fits. Uh, and then uh, it kind of falls off after that. I think Swampert is pretty solid. It's not as good as it was last gen just because things hit harder. But it has yep. knockoff. And it still has flip turn. It still sets rocks. Tankaton kind of does the same thing. It knocks. It uh, para it docks. It like sets rocks. It can paralyze shit. I think it can set screens. Is that a fact? Wait, well, what, Tinkerton? Can Tinkerton um, set screens? Maybe. Okay, well, probably. I'm going to assume that it might, it might be able to. Uh, I think Ogre Pond's actually a pretty good pick here. It fits a nice speed tier in between Zapdos and Darkrai. Uh, it hits pretty hard. Uh, it's got a good stab move. It's got good coverage. I like it. Quillfish is all right. It spikes. It's a grounded poison. It's, it's going to get the job done. It can pivot, yada, yada, yada. The last two picks are fucking strange Mousehold and Mouse Hitmonchan and Hitmonchan I get okay I guess Mousehold is like another speed option um 
Four points, it's probably okay. I mean, uh, uh, no. And Hitmonchan is... It gets SD now. It gets SD. It gets SD, what a beast. and I think it gets knockoff, but also it's a Hitmonchan. I think it already had knockoff, but... Um, well, I'm going to choose to... Believe. It is also... You are correct. It is <laughs> also a Hitmonchan. It's not very good. It's You're also... Now holding Hitmonchan or your removal... For a team that doesn't particularly like hazards very much. No, no, it no, it doesn't. It doesn't like, like hazards. Ape doesn't like hazards. Zapdos yeah. is probably gonna. If, like, if Zapdos of, gets but... knocked, like, oh, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, like Tinkaton doesn't like hazards. Swampert doesn't like hazards. Darkrai doesn't like nothing on this team really likes hazards all that much. And like, yeah, I I think it was a classic. Oh wait, where's my removal right at the end? Yeah. And then what do you do? Mouse I guess it's better than time. picking like Avalog Kasui. Yeah, I mean it's. I mean I think they're they're, they're not horrible mons at least. It's like it, they're okay. They're like they're. I if I'm bringing them, I'm not that happy about it. Um, I like I like the pairing with Darkrai with Annihilate. I yeah. actually think. Oh yeah, the, that, the, the top three is so good, together. and the rest of the team just kind of lets it down. Yeah, like you can you can punish like a lot of people like were drawn like Scarf U turn or like Scarf like fighting types. For Darkrai and Annihilate just eats them up for toast mm -hmm. and tea. Zapdos kind of does too. Yeah, it does as well because you can punish it with static. Yeah. So and and also just punish it with hurricanes. Yeah. Damn. So Zapdos that, is hard. that's nice. That's some that's some good team building. Yeah. I think. That the top three, my my honestly, it might be my favorite top three out of all of these, except maybe KHD's. KHD's top three is also really good. Yeah. But like this top three is excellent. I just hate the rest of the team. I, I think uh, uh, I mean okay. The, I don't think Ogre the rest Pond. of the team is that. I, I like the ogre pond. I don't really like the rest. I it, I I think it's okay defensively as well. I understand the yeah. defense. It does it, like okay, it, it's, it's okay defensively. Okay for okay for what we've seen so far. For I'm gonna lower my defensive. Um, this, for, for standards I'd say, a bit. I'd say for a if it's a board, possible defensive team, then it's good enough for me. That's yeah, I think. For, given for the team, atrocities I've seen, for, for, this is like the probably the most competent. Not maybe not the most competent. I think I think Meta's team is but maybe a little bit better built defensively. Yeah. No. Maybe yeah. I bit. think it is. Yeah. But like, but like, it's it's like second best in that regard. Like I could, I, there's things on this team that can take hits, and be like, and like, like confidently take hits. Like I don't think this team gets ripped apart by ground types. Because you got the like, Ochre Pond can switch in on them, and the Zapdos can levitate, and Pert's pretty bulky and threatens them out with like Water Stab. Yeah. But I do think this is a flawed team. Uh, Jason, buddy, you could you you really should have just taken that Iron Moth. Because I think if there was an Iron Moth here, I actually would have liked it a lot better. Yeah, probably. It would've, it would've but I mean, at the, at the same it time, I think. Team. I think what the team ended up, it's not, it, it has its flaws, but it's its okay, I think. Yeah, I'm, it's not I, bad. I'm giving this team a C grade, and most of that comes from the top three, and I just, I'm just just not a huge fan of the rest of it. I think, um, I, I think maybe, maybe it's a little bit better than that, but, uh. Well, all I'll say is, the grade I'm giving this is that this team gives me a nightmares. Okay. I, if Darkrai ever hits its theme moves, which it probably won't this season. Yeah, that's so. true. Anyway, now I get to move on to a team that I fucking hate. Ugh! And we get to talk about Pasta Supper's team. Uh, the shitty Shuckles with Terra Gouging Fire, the Greninja, Rotom Wash, Metagross, Gliscor, Serena, Zoroark, Kasui, Florida Skunk Tank. Very similar to the team that I drafted in Swarm. In a lot of ways, except just swap Greninja out for Meowskarada, and then Metagross for Jirachi, and then Gliscor for uh, Donphan, and I didn't draft a Zoroark Kasui. The base you're saying Pasta Supper copied you, or did you copy Pasta well, Supper? Technically, well, Quick Feet technically went faster, so it's uh, not so my you... fault. It's not you're my fault. You're the copier. You are the copier. I understand. I understand. But I can uh... say that this team has. Some good points and some bad points. Terra Gouging Fire, I think, is a very good Pokemon. Very, it's yeah. a very good Pokemon. That thing is fat as hell. 
Yeah, it is. It is pretty chunky. It's fat, and with Terra, you can just make it a good defensive type, and you can just run DD Morning Sun, and just fuck shit up. Uh, yeah, or you, can, or you can run it like an offensive typing and just k- break shit really quickly. A Greninja is just a really. Uh, good how how did that game. mod end up only being twenty two points? I don't know. I think this thing is better than Iron. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, well, you know I have a theory. Right. I have a theory, right? I have a theory because I noticed that literally every single council member wanted to take Gouging Fire. I I, I counted at least five I did, council I members. I did not. Who I did not uh, help with the tearing. So all that's all I'm saying. That's all I I'm saying. With, I did not help tear uh, Gouging Fire. Dodgy, d- dodgy ass lowering prices um, in the hopes of gonna get, but yeah. nah, that's just a game theory, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think double water is okay on this team because there are two waters that do very different things. And yeah, no, it's, is it's really good. good with gouging fire, and Greninja is just a really good Pokemon. Metagross yeah. got some nice buffs this gen. I'm not huge on Gliscor with no Terra, although I don't think it's bad. I think I think Gliscor I think Gliscor's fine, especially because it's only like it's what like was 11. it like eleven points? I, at yeah. least it's not a Gligar. Yeah, I, no, I think it. I think it does it, it. It's like a good hazard setter. Mm-hmm. Um, it can be annoying with like toxic protect. Yeah, it can do some toxic like, protect stuff. And 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 it has like set up options too. So I think uh, for eleven points, I think that's it does like, have a tendency score. to like the fa- its favorite set does get walled by air balloon poison types. I mean that's true, but it doesn't have to do that. It can it can click U turn as the air balloon poison type what comes in. What if it in. doesn't have U turn? Well, uh, Pasta Supper uh, better be a good builder then because yeah, well, Pasta I think I think piv- I think Gliscor can be a decent pivot for the team too. Uh, Serena is a bond now because it got knockback and like the other shit. It's still Triple not. Axel. It's still it's still not that. And it, 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 it gives him removal, it so removal. I can't hate on that uh, too I much. I think Zoro Kasui is not that good. No, it's uh, only that there one's, a that speed one's trash. I, but that, um, I, I guess he want he needed the speed. See, I took a uh, Mian Shao instead. That's where he messed up. I uh, Terra Florges. Um, I'm gonna make fun of him for, but uh, mostly because no, I, was, I think I think Terra Florges. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Is it's fine. I'm it's fun good. Of him for I, I think I think it's because I didn't take it. Uh, but, yeah, and then Skunk Tank is just like four pointer that does things. Uh, I think it's a pretty pretty good team. Uh, even though the person piloting it is stinky and bad. Yeah, I think I think I like this team defensively as well. I yeah, think this, is, this, both good this defensive is the synergy. best defensively built team. Out of yeah, all of pro- them I'm so not gonna lie, it probably is. Cause like I, I like shit. I see a thing you could switch into fairy types. I see a thing you could switch into ground types, and there's multiple of them. Yeah, I mean, I can't, this isn't the greatest defensive team I've seen of all time, but since the bar is so low, congratulations, Pastor Supper. I'll I'll deliver your trophy in the morning. Yay! Uh, I, I, I ran out of things to say about this team. I'm going to um, give this team a B+. Oh, I, I actually, actually, I'll say one other thing. I don't like his only removal being Serena, because uh, it's a yeah, fucking Serena. That is true. But I'm not going to knock him that much for it, because he yeah. has it stacked really well. And force a defog. That's true. From the two people that have Pokemon with defog. But, but, I mean, he doesn't... Actually, no, 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 no. He has a spin block on it. It's you and Zorok. Oh, oh, my God. He's oh a genius. Oh, my God. He's a genius. He's, He's a genius. Let's go. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I love switching my Sue and Zorok into things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm begging they click spin and not please, fucking, like, please. knock off or any sort of mo- other please. move. But, yeah, I, like, I actually do like this team a lot. I think it's just pretty pretty well built. It's not like oppressive, but it's still pretty solid. It's pretty pretty. It's solid actually team. got a lot of middling speed tiers. I think versus like faster teams, mm-hmm. it could get like pressured if he like misplays. Yeah, but he has so the that's fat. Kind of a thing. He has the fat to not. Because like assuming Zora, because that's like half a mon. It's like only speed above one hundred is like Greninja. Yeah, I think it's workable though. I know, Sui and Zoroark just feels like a worse Greninja to me. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, fuck a Sui and Zoroark. You it, should drop like this it's... shit immediately. Yeah, but but who's gonna spin block for him? Come on. Dude. You can get Pulti, guys. I mean, that doesn't fit. I don't know if that fixes the speed option. It but... doesn't fix the speed option, but it does spin the, block. I, I, and you get a Pulti, guys. So. I love Pulti, guys. 
Uh, did you give it a rating for the I team? Gave it, I gave it B plus. Okay, I'll give it a um, carbonara. I don't know where Pasta Supper rates carbonara on his pasta tier list, but um, uh, I get that's it. what he's getting. Uh, next up, we have Leaf of the Pheasant Skibbity Toilets. I fucking hate that name, by the way. With Great Tusk, Latios, Weavile, Scizor, Primarina, Rotom Heat, Pheasantipity, Namesake, Ursarang, Leafeon, Electrode. Okay, we, we, we don't want to talk about... We want to talk about the PWS teams, don't we? <laughs> uh, no. Because oh. like, this vid... It, we were already like an hour in. We got to finish. Uh, we got to but... wrap up. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll just give my opinion. This team is missing a wishy-washy. This team is missing oh, a mill tank. This team is missing oh, whatever legendary yeah. superior suggested. Terra Ente. Terra Ente is missing. Which? Um, fuck. So I'm missing Megasis or Kieran Black. Yep. It's missing uh, Z Whimsicott. Um, yeah, we, I think we can move on. I think yeah, we can. Move, I think. Okay, I think okay. that's everything that okay. we need to say I, about the I team. Am, I want to talk about the team for a second. Nah, oh, fine. This, fine. I feel like this looks like, in a weird way, it looks like a team that you would draft in Gen Eight with some things mixed around. Uh, like um, who's drafting Rotom Heat in current Gen? Yeah, bro, bro. Like Wacko's drafted it in um, in the fucking Gen Eight. I know some people rate Rotom Heat. Uh, I don't. I do rate. I mean, Rotom okay. Heat. I think. I think it's it's like an okay pivot for this. I don't. It's I don't fi- hate. It's fine on this team, but I'd like. Uh... It's like it's like eight points. It's not. It's not. You know, it's not uh, like... I don't. I don't rate Pheasantipity. I don't think that Pokemon is good. I don't. Um, I just don't it, think it it's does. It's kind of like it, it's it's an annoying mom because like its bulk actually is pretty decent, but it kind of doesn't do that much back except Toxic. poison you. I, I, like a little bitch, and I, then just click U turn. Yeah, it's, and so it's not like this team really needed like a fairy because you have a Primarina, which uh, is out. I like Great Tusk being paired with Weavile though. You've got really good removal for Weavile, which means that it can just. And you yeah, also have I think the f- the first the first three months seem to have decent synergy mm-hmm. together. And then I, I think Scizor also fits reasonably well. Uh, it lets yeah. you like defensively check some things. Primarina is a nice special up op- special breaker. To alleviate Latios a little bit, so if you want to use Latios to like, not necessarily just break and like just win shit. Also, I, I get, I guess you could yeah. say that Feds and Deputy take some defensive pressure from Marina as well. I guess, this. but it's also like it's also Feds and Deputy. I mean, uh, uh, at this point, uh, uh, this is his right. If you see, do you know what Yahoodles is um picked were at this point? <laughs> hmm, yeah, you got a good point. Yeah, so you know what? Given the fact that Leash is only Pheasant Deputy, that doesn't seem quite so bad. Yeah, I also I also don't personally rate these last two months. Like, Leafeon and Electrode. Leafeon is like the ground check that isn't Rotom Heat or Latios. I mean, I mean, that's probably that's probably better than some teams ground. I, I, think, that's, I think that's fine, actually. That's fine. Electrode... As a Pokemon, I don't actually think you're ever going to bring over Rotom Heat. Uh, it does different things. Like it, um, it it the T wave stuff. It has so static, does Rotom Heat. Rotom and it, and, it, and it clicks one screen, but it has 150 speed. Uh, like, yeah. Okay, okay. I think Electro specifically in this gen isn't complete dog shit. I don't because... think it's. I don't think it's good on this team. Um, I, would, I mean, I, bro, I, bro, bro, it's it's like it's like two points. It's, it's like two points. Yeah, but I also don't think you're ever bringing it over Rotom Heat, unless if like. But I think I think they do really need things, that though. screen up. But I mean, I mean, you can use it to revenge like certain like on like Iron Bundle, for example. Like Rotom Heat is not revenging Iron Bundle. Like it has it has its niche niche options and that. Like just having the speed tier, yeah. I think is it at least adds some value. So I, I don't think it's a wasted pick. Personally. Yeah, well, I also I just don't really think it's something that's like I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. I, uh, bro, I mean, it, look, it's two points, man. It like it's saying yeah, it like is. I really hope I really hope it like it's it's it. I really hope you don't have to bring a fucking two pointer every week, um, or else you know Arbok, Arbok. you could be cooked. Alright, I think I've said my piece. I think Leafs team 
is just kind of alright. I feel like it synergizes decently well, but it's kind of missing that oomph. Yeah. It kind of, it, um, I feel like it gets out offensed by other teams. Yeah, unless, if, I, unless if Terra Latios is really that guy. Which bro, bro imagine have, this human imagine this team in the sun. You have Protosynthesis, Task, you have Chlorophyll, Leafeon, and most importantly, your heat your um overheats get a boost from Rotom Heat. Yeah, and your 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 Terra Fire Terra Blasts <laughs> from Latios. Let's go. And also, but yeah, me memes aside, memes aside, I I will say I don't like the fact that um Task is the only rocker. I think that does. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I think sucks. that it, it can have a bit of four move slot syndrome if it's always forced to run rocks. Mm -hmm. Also, no so, spikes. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think you have to. Uh, I think have if you're gonna have every team, great but it's tusk nice. only rocker, you want some spikes. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I. I agree. I agree. Anyway, I'm gonna give this team a C plus grade. It's. It would pass in like. A class, but it, the teacher, I just fucking Yo, broke those the are some boss. Those I are some boss. I broke the fucking dock. Oops. Wait, you broke the no, dock? I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. Uh, but I don't think it's going to blow anybody away. The professor's going to be like, eh, okay. And I'm going to give this a the ranking of Leaf Me Alone with the Leafion. Uh, is, is, is Leafion the mascot pick? No, I think that's Pheasantivity. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Speaking of well. a team that's full of fucking mascot picks. Let's go. Here we go. The big Nazar one. Matt. Yes. Draft yes. Punk with, and you guys got to be ready for this. If you yep. did not pay attention to the quick feet draft, keep your eyes peeled. Round one, Orchaladon. Round Ooh. two, Pelipper. Terragothitelle. Thunderty, Overquill, Amoongus, Quackleball, Terrapagos, Terra Barrascuta, Hatrim, Cottony. So the first thing you'll notice about this team is that, that he drafted Hard Rain uh, immediately. Didn't even give himself other options. Yeah, so I think, all right, let's talk about, like, what I, you do. Had, so, I was going to go on a long rant, and you interrupted me. No, yeah, no, fuck no, you, no, fuck no, no, you. No, 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 I gotta, I gotta give, I gotta lean up my bit, because I want to give Nazar Matt credit. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Cause, fine. Cause fine most finish people will look saying. at this and they'll just instantly think that this is the worst team they've ever seen. But I implore you to look a little closer. I'm not kidding. Although this is a rain team, and rain is not exactly what you would call elite. I yeah, don't think it's I a poor. I don't think it's poorly constructed for what he's trying to do. I would also probably agree with that. Because for for a rain team. You have pretty good abusers. A hard rain team. It's a hard rain team. This is a hard rain team. It is a hard rain team. But you have good abusers of rain. You got Thundy T. Overquill's not bad. Barrescute is good. Quackleval definitely benefits. Archaladon definitely benefits. Uh, Terrapicos and Amoongus. Amoongus benefits for the fire resist. Gothitelle and Terrapicos are kind of just mons that are there to, like, trap specific... The like, Gothitelle's there to trap specific shit that's going to fuck up the rain sweepers and, like, the rain abusers. And Terrapicos, it's just kind of a solid everything check with just, like, the way that it works. It's not really there to beat any specific thing. It's just kind of there to be generally useful. And I think it does a pretty all right job of that. Uh, it also spins. And it rocks, along with Archaladon. And Overkill's got spikes. I think this team is a lot more capable than people are giving it credit for. However, it is also a hard rain team. And I think that is going to struggle naturally against teams that just do well against rain. So I can't say that this team is good. But I do think that he had a vision, and the vision was reasonably well thought out for what it was. Alright, Hez, you can give your thoughts now. Uh, this is the best team Oh, I'm done. Okay, well, I need you to talk for a second because I have to go. Okay, uh, all right, I'll be serious. So, uh, I think, uh, I think, all right, all right let, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is, uh, pick one, or pick one, round one, or oh, Caledon, round two, uh, Pelipper. So, 
what you generally want to do with your like your like the very early picks is pick high priority mons. Now, obviously, you could argue, oh, cause Arcaludon is like a, a new mon, and maybe he thought, oh, this should be like more points or whatever, that um it was worth the round one. But I think, I think potentially he could have like maybe um waited on that bit and like, bro, Pelipper round two I have not seen since Gen seven. Um. That's like that's just that's just not a thing anymore. So I understand obviously the the criticism from certain certain people who uh, did see that as being unorthodox, but I do kind of agree. It does of like it being a hard rain team, if that's what like you want to go with. Like yeah, I think this is like reasonably constructed. Um, I think without rain, it is a very slow team. Like it does rely a lot on. Um, Right for speed control. I know you have like Barracuda, which is naturally fast. Um, but then it's like only f uh, Fundy T that's above uh, base 100s, and there's like quite a lot of fast teams um, that are in the league. So um, that's kind of an issue. I think defensively, this team actually isn't that bad as well. Um, I think Terra, Terra Golf on rain teams actually is a pretty um, interesting. Um, uh, addition to yeah, I rate that a lot actually. Uh, what did knockoff users? Because um, Quackleval. Because I I think I think like knockoffs um having like good knockoff users pretty valuable. Because number one, utility umbrella, uh, kind of fucks up rain a lot, and um two like like I guess um. Oh, bro, my mind's just gone blank. What's it called? Fucking... Not Shadtail. Um, Shad Shell. Shad Shell. Ah, uh, I had a mind blank for a second. Yeah, knocking those off are kind of nice, so... Maybe we'd have seen, like, seen a, a couple more knock users, but, I mean, it's not, not a big deal. Um, I think the ultimate this team is basically... It's a matchup fish team. Like, some weeks it's going to be good, and some weeks it is... It is going to be anything but... Um, that's just kind of what you have to roll with with these kinds of teams. So, yeah. Uh, for a matchup fish team, I think it is well constructed. But I also yeah, I I I think I think it's a logical match. It's not like you just yeah. put random stuff together. No, this is oh, this it's a right well team. Oh, this I need well this. Oh, I need that. Matchup fish. Yeah. But because it is a matchup fish, I don't think I can give it a grade higher than like a C. Like I, can't, um, I, I really don't think I, I think it's, I think it's well thought out. I think it will succeed where it, when it succeeds, but it will also have it rough when it has it rough. Uh, I, I will give it the ranking of moist because it honestly makes me moist looking at it. Yummy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, shout out uh, Tara, fucking wife beater. What the fuck that was? <laughs> no, did you see the explanation? Yeah, bro, the explanation is what makes that uh, so fucking funny. Jesus Christ. I don't know whether it, it, I, I don't, know, it I, don't, I don't know whether I should even laugh at it, to be honest. But, I understand, uh, I understand God. it. Yeah, it's, speaking, uh, it's only a nickname of all time. Speaking of a anyway. guy who has got a general understanding of what they want to do, Zeb Strike Him Down, the Super Zeb Strikers with Torn T, Garchomp, Corviknight, Ogre Pond, Hearth playing with Terra, Keldeo, Alolan Muk, Comfey, Copraja, Terra, Avalokasui, Blitzel, but no Zeb Striker. Well, he, he clearly didn't know what he wanted to do enough because he, he waited on the Zeb Striker and he got punished for it. <laughs> he got he got trolled for it. Yeah. Um, uh, the team itself, though. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's alright. <laughs> uh, I don't rate Corviknight this gen. I think I think it's just it's it doesn't. Did really you rate Corviknight in Gen Eight? Yes, because it was a lot because it was much harder to just kill. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. In yeah, this in yeah, this yeah, gen, yeah. it's it's not frail. It's obviously it's not frail. It's still like a reasonably good bulky pivot, but it's less. I feel like it's less effective. Like as like an like usually like in Gen Eight, you could get away with running more body press and like bulk up sets. I feel yep. like in this gen, they're not as effective because it just gets less opportunities to set those up because it gets chipped down a lot easier. It's also it's good removal and it's a nice like bulky slow pivot 
which this team appreciates. We've got you got Ogre Pond, you got Keldeo, you got Chomp, and they all appreciate that. Uh, also, yeah. interesting decision to not Terra the Torn and to Terra the Ogre Pond. Uh, I actually think okay. Uh, if I think you it's really fine. want Ogre I think it's Pond, fine. I think it's fine to do that. If you really want Ogre Pond half lamp, I think you have to Terra it and like Torn T. Like it's definitely a lot better with Terra. But I think it's still functionable enough without Terra, whilst yeah. Ogre Pond Half Lane without Terra, uh, it just kind of becomes a meme. Or it, it like it, it loses, I think, way more than Torn does. So I'm actually okay with him tearing that. Um, it's got some good like like speed tears, I think. Like this seems like very fast. Um, and he's got decent middling speed um, as yeah, well. So. Um... I I I think okay. Obviously, Blitzel. I rate the meme like as a meme pick. It's, 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 a it's definitely one of the best meme picks. So I can't hate it. Although I would say oh, I do think we even team... talk about Nazarmed's last two picks. Oh, uh, no, no, we're not gonna talk. We're not gonna talk about Nazarmed's last two picks. We're not gonna talk about those. Them. Are some good besides, meme picks. Besides the fact that um, uh, Courtney was a demon in fucking Gen Five. Oh, uh, meme. It's a meme, but. Hey, I, I used I used a Connie in battle um, battle spot once. It was pretty funny, but um, yeah, I think I think I would have appreciated like another ground resist maybe for the team, like maybe like another grass type, possibly. Yeah, just because think... like over over ground resist are weak to electric. Yeah, I also feel like this team is a bit ice weak. Oh, you got Keldeo, and you got Copperaja. Yep. Yeah. This is a team that does not want to see an iron bundle. Yeah, I can see that for sure. That is yeah, definitely not great. Yeah, I kinda I don't have as much to say about this team. I think it's just Yeah, I actually actually offensive waters are uh, actually waters are quite quite idea. annoying for this yeah, team. So. You don't really have yeah, that, water yeah, is. That, another grass type would have been nice. But you know what? Honestly, if it were me, I'd fucking keep the blitzel, man. Keep the blitzel alive. Keep the blitzel and the avalog. Yeah, and the Ava oh, I could tear a grass Avalog, I guess. There you go. Problem yep. solved. Happy days. Um yeah, uh, I I think this team is saw is fine. Yeah, it's got fine. it's got decent enough hazard setters. Well I say possible hazard setters. And probably possible enough removal question mark. Yeah, do yeah, Corviknight. Corviknight's good removal. Yeah. Uh but this is a C plus um, team, I think. It, I think it looks a lot better. Like you take a look at this at a first glance, it looks like kind of a bit. It looks like it looks better than it looks than when you actually take a closer look. It's like oh, like it, it looks really scary, but then it's like oh, you kind of get owned by water types, and you kind of wish you had ground resist. And you kind of wish that you had this. It just like oh, it, it kind of it just kind of wishes that just does another girl. It kind of crumbles at the it. seams. But um. But you know what? Fuck, fuck the grass type, bro. You have fucking Blitzel, man. When Blitzel gets Sap Saper, it's basically a grass type, but then is it not? Basically. Yeah, yeah, rock the Blitzel. Fuck the haters. That's uh, what I say. Yeah, and now we're going to move on to the last team of Pool A. An hour and 20 minutes in. Oh, God. Uh, Nala, the East Coast Extra Drills. With Zamazenta crowned, Ogre Pond, Wellspring, Mandibuzz, Dawn Fan, Nine Tails, Alola, Terra Mew, Revavroom, Appleton, Flareon, Zebstrika. Yeah, this uh, team this baffles Stover, me. Stover, Stover, that Stover, uh, Zebstrika. How could they? Baffles me because I have, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this. I don't know what the idea behind this team was. Uh, yeah, it's very unorthodox, it's let's unorthodox, put it that way. And there's, like, three and a half, like, four and a half Pokemon. Okay, okay, I I'll start off with Zamazenta, very solid mod, needs a lot of support, but it, it can be very effective with the right support and the right matchups. Uh, and then Ogapon Wellspring, I think, is a very solid ter terror user. Uh, it says Zamazenta can't terror, because that would be uber broken. That would be um, uber broken. Yeah, that's good. I, and then I like it, the first two, and then there's a round three Mandibuzz. Oh, Mandibuzz with... I mean, it, it knocks off Rocky Helmets for Zamazenta. It's a bulky um, Pivotmon. Gives it, I, I feel like he just really wants his removal, which is, I guess, fair enough, because Zamazenta, although it comes in the rocks super easily, it really doesn't like spikes. 
Um, so definitely decent removal for it. But was it an early Manda Buzz? I think yes. it was probably around the early. Uh, um, I think the Don fan was perfectly timed, though. Yeah, Don fan's fine because people reach for that. Uh, I don't like the Nine removal. Tails of Lola because I, I think it's it's literally just I think it's here for like a speed tier. And for the screen support. Yeah. And, and I like, understand wanting screen support, but you also drafted a Terra Mew. I think he's got two, like, sauce speed options in the Lona Nine Tiles and, of course, Zeb Striker. Zeb, not because Zeb Striker is a bad a mod, because eyes. that could have been on Zeb Striker's team. That, um, God damn it. Absolutely yeah, wrong. Like, Mew is. I think Terra Mew with, in not Nat Dex formats is. Not necessarily amazing. I don't think it's bad. No, I think I, I think I think Terra Mew's good. I think, I think it's fine. I think it's fine on this team because this team needed had a lot of holes to fill. Yeah, I mean it's all look, obviously it doesn't do like defensive like Terra options quite as well, but it's still pretty solid defensively with Terra. Yeah, because it still has all of, like the setup options. So. Yeah, I, I I I fuck with that. River Room's and okay. I, Appleton is like. I, I think I think Rev Room okay. gives him like a decent like setup sweeper potentially yeah, to abuse the screens. Options. Like you got like Mew and um, Rev Room can at least abuse screens. Yeah. And then you got um, the issue the issue with Nine Tails is that I feel like it's really easy just to pack bloody Brick Break. Uh, well, um, well, this is Quick Feet. Yeah. Well, Daddy, Daddy, want not no, no, um that's watching. That there's a little secret for you. Uh, yeah, and then Appleton, Flareon, Zeb Striker, all just. Uh, uh, I, I, it's fine. I, I, fair and for, for one point, I think it's fine. Zeb Striker, I mean, it's a speed tier. <laughs> Whoop de doo. And it, and it, and he uh, got the snipe, so he got mm-hmm. funny points at that, at least. Uh, but yeah, aside from the funny points, I, I think, I think this is the worst team of the pool. I think I think Yahoodles' team, while I don't think it's that great, I think it's a lot more threatening. This team yeah. is just like I'm not I'm not scared of the most of the I'm not scared of a lot of this team. Like Mandibuzz is not like horrible, but it's not like I'm not scared of Mandibuzz. I'm not scared of Don Fan. I'm not that scared of Nine Tails. Mew, Ogre Pond, Zama, and like maybe Reverum. They're like threatening Pokemon. But not so threatening that I'm gonna cry. Although yeah. Zama could definitely have those kinds of matchups, but also the counterplay is like you you bring a helmet. Yeah, I don't know. I just i I don't really i I don't know if his team really glues itself well enough. It, I, I don't think it though. does. It's. It's... It, I, I like. I do kind of see some of the ideas Nala was going for, um, but yeah, I just think in practice the team just ends up being just kind of eh. It's too. It's too. It's got too many flaws. But but I do think it it does have some upsides at least, and well, it's it's all it's all dog shit defensively as well compared to some of the other teams we've seen. But I I think the offensive upside is just pretty limiting. Um, like obviously Zamazenta, it's like it 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 it's good offensively, but it's sort of like a wall breaker kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm th- I'm ready. To, I'm giving this one a, a D minus. You know, I feel I feel bad uh, because uh, Vinny kept bullying Nala out of like anything he wanted to pick in the in the uh, PWS, so I'll give it a. Would you give it a D minus? Uh, yeah, I I give it a D. Minus. Oh, that's a bit harsh. I I don't like it. I'll give it a um. I can't even think of anything funny anymore. We've just been this for so long. I give it a a Zeb strike him down. Yeah, I'll give him a uh, Zeb strike him down punch. Out of ten. Dang. Do they Are... play each other? Uh, I have. I really I hope they so. do. Oh, that would have been really funny. Uh, the winner uh, gets his abs you know, right? That's what they should have right done. Now. Yeah. I mean, do we even have time to check the schedule? <laughs> I guess we. I guess we've got to commit to it now. Uh, you know, I, if yes, they do. Week four. Oh my god, they do. 
Week four. Week okay. Four, the well, Zev strike him showdown. All right. Let's yeah, go back. All to, right. Let's go back to ranking some teams. Oh God, please. Okay. We're gonna no. do two part video. To be honest, I think I'll lose my mind. <laughs> I mean, we can do this in two different sessions. Uh, can I have like a thirty minute break and then we'll continue? Okay. I'm cutting I think, here. I think we should actually, actually, you know what? I think we should do it in two. I think we just do a two part video. To be honest, I don't think anyone's gonna watch. <laughs> gonna watch like a fucking three hour quick beat video. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna cut it here. All right. All right, quick. Uh, should viewers. we say a goodbye thing? We should like cut and then say a. Uh... All right, quick feed viewers. We're gonna do this other part a second time, a later time, because we went on for an hour and a fucking half about your s silly little teams. Teehee. I did a break. Bye, bye, quick feed. Jesus. See you later. I hate quick feet. What is up, quick feet? Uh, welcome to the second part of quick feet power rankings. We had to take a break because the first one was on for an hour and a half. Has say something to introduce yourself again so they know you're here. Hello. No. Sorry, I spoke over it. You have to say it again. Uh, it's too late now. You've just ruined it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to move on to metal now. Just get right into it because so, we don't want to be here all night. Great Tusk. King Gambit with Terra, Iron Bundle, Mew, Thundi Eye, Weezing Galar, Gudra, Dunsparce. Another Typhlosion! Has yeah. been two for two What's on the What's if all the first picks taking Typhlosion on that team? I don't really Maybe know. because it's the number one one, perhaps. Alright, so the first thing I'm envisioning when I see this is that there's only... I, I like that there's only a Terra Gambit on this and there's no other Terra Mon. I don't think you realistically are ever running a second Terra Mon. With with King I mean Gambit. you can. You can I think I think the flexibility is you nice. You definitely but, can, um, but I don't really think you realistically ever will. Uh, I mean You never know how a game's going. Yeah. But I think I think Yeah, I mean yeah, I mean Terra Gambit is like it's good enough. I think Metal used the points that they could have used on a second Terra to try and draft more competent mons, which does not explain how they ended up with a Typhlosion, but Oh, was was that was that meant to roll me up? I was saying that, like, well, there's also a Dunsparce. Yeah, but would you prefer if I said Dunsparce? I'm actually pretty indifferent either way because I accept Typhlosion is pretty I dog see, shit. I see like three super roll compression pressure mons on this team because you got Great Tusk. Great Tusk does it all. You got Mew. Yep. Mew quite literally does it all, and then you got well, Weezing Galar, which is like. Uh, not a bad Pokemon, but it's the Pokemon that you pick when you have a lot of holes to fill. And it kind of just covers those. It looks like it covers them, but it, it co covers some holes better than others. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Some holes it covers are not so nice, shall we say. Yeah. Um, Weezing's holes. Yeah, anyway, anyway, um, I don't know, I think, I, I mean, I like Great Task with King Gambit, I think yeah, that's, that's good. that's good. Um, I, I, I don't know how, I don't know honestly how I feel about the rest of this team, it just feels, Definitely kind of feels okay, again, story. Iron Bundle just kind of just feels like it's just been tacked on because, mm -hmm. lol, we, Iron Bundle, I mean, me probably want I guess, I breaker. guess it paired with Fundy isn't bad, yeah. but, I don't know. I'm uh, not. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's, it's just kind of, I think it's just kind of there for the speed. It doesn't really. I don't really feel like it meshes very well together. No. It seems like just a bunch of mons that do things. Not necessarily bad mons, but just like a bunch of them. Without much thought. Um, I wouldn't say it has. It not, doesn't not, have much thought yeah, because like, I think I think all I think it like I I do like half understand why these mons have been drafted together i just don't i just think it's just kind of okay mm -hmm. just for me this seems just nothing special yeah it's just like there's some good mons and there's some mons yeah it's, it's a it's a perfectly okay team which is why i'll be getting a grade of c from me
I'm I I'm not even gonna I, there's no point in me giving grades like from based on the last video. Uh but I'll say I think It's another typhlosion, dude. It's yeah, it's probably around the team. Maybe slightly on the, I don't know. I don't know what all it is about this team. It's it's just something just doesn't feel right with me with this. But I I don't think it'll do bad per se. I mean it's got a lot of good mons on it. Um, but yeah, I th I, I think I think there are better teams, but uh, this this is okay. It's it's all got like the most weaknesses as well. I'll say that much. Yeah. Uh, which is at least um nice. I don't think this team gets destroyed by ground types. No, no. Like compared to a lot of other teams, it doesn't have too too many weaknesses. Yeah. But I also think like. Uh, Strength-wise, I think their teams were stronger strengths. I think that's kind of yeah, just how I like view it. Less weaknesses, but not as many strengths. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, that's not necessarily it's a bad thing. I bad. think. Bad. It's just not great. Yeah, it's it's a it's C. decently balanced. It's C. Yeah. It's a yeah. C. Speaking of uh, people in the C S T time zone. Oh this. god. Teal Doom. I'm not even gonna fucking read their name. Uh with Dragapult. Oh uh, come on, you gotta you gotta you got one We're gonna, uh, should gonna, I read it? Should I read it? It's gonna make the video an hour longer. Oh no, hold on. Bro, I have to, to get the, I actually to, have to get the dog. I'm going now. to mute you if you start reading it. No, I'm no 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 no. Come on, give the fans what they want. Give the fans what they want. Mm, no, I don't think I will. Oh wait, hold on a minute. Oh, I can't see his name properly because it it just gives it's the too code. It's fucking long. Yeah, it, hold on. I, right. I'm 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 gonna do it. I'm right, gonna well, do it. Well, you're trying to figure out how to do it. I'm gonna read his team: Dragapult, Samurai Asui, Oh my god, why is it just Terra code? Excadrill, <laughs> Iron Moth, Titar, Enamorous Therian, Mesprit, Serena, Primeape. The first thing you'll notice about this team is that this is a Gen Nine Sand team. The first of its kind I've ever seen. Bro, no, no, no. What Fish you Doom is, he's got a time machine and gone back to the day when everyone used to draft uh, Dragapult Sand back in like the very first year of Gen 8. Okay. And uh, what we found about, about Dragapult Sand was that it was pretty mid. Mm -hmm. But uh, this Dragapult Sand team, I think it's okay. I think, I think it's also, it's kind of mid, but it's mostly just because I think... I, I don't really think T-Tar is really all that, this gen. Oh, uh, I mean, it's got knock at least. It's, it, knock, it, it's all right. It's all right, but like, I think. I think. I think it's too slow, and it's got a lot of nasty weaknesses. No, nah, that's but true. But it also true. can check shit that, like, other stuff just can't. Like, if anybody in Quick Feet actually drafted the Chiyu, this thing can check Chiyu any day of the week. But nobody but, did. You know, I was ragging about the Dragapult sand thing in uh, Gen 8, but obviously in Gen 9, th this time Extra Drill can Terra. And I actually think Terra Extra Drill, I haven't seen it drafted t in too many I've other... I've never seen it drafted. Is it, I was it drafted in any other division? I don't really remember I think Drill drafting was drafted Drill. in other divisions, but I don't think Terra Extra Drill Yeah, I was. think I think Terra Extra Drill actually could... I've, I've seen a lot of ground weak teams... Mm -hmm. This could definitely take advantage Teams advantage that of rely on, like, levitate to get around their ground weakness. I think Terra Extra Drill could actually eat eat those teams alive. So, yeah. I actually... No, I, I, I fuck with the Terra Extra Drill. I think, um... Soon Samurai as well is a good pairing with that, because obviously... Spikes. Got, got the spikes. Iron and, Moth, like, I think, yeah, is it's also pretty a good small. pairing, because you have good spin yeah. with Extra Drill. And then... Yeah, I, Moth, like, I Moth, great. like, it pressures, sure. like, the fairies really well. It's got a good speed tier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will say, the speed tiers on this team are. Uh, it it relies to, on sand a lot got for pull speed. To Iron Moth and then Moth to fucking Excadrill. I mean, I mean, it's better than it, it's better than a Greninja to Huey and Zoroark at least. I'll give it that much. Um, no, because there's but, other stuff in between that. No, I no, I think it was Greninja to Huey and Zoroark. It was, I think uh, maybe it was. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry, passes up a um, exposing yeah, I think, a bit. I think well, it, it, I think it does at least have the sand, but it does Mesprit's make it seem a bit more really sand nice on this team because it gives you a ground immune, and it also gives you another rocker. 
so that like Drill or T-Tar can just focus yeah. on doing what. The, well, I guess T-Tar doesn't really mind running rocks all that much, but Drill definitely doesn't want to. Yeah. Uh, Enamorous Therian, pretty pretty solid mon. Serena is. I guess it's there so that Drill has pressure taken off of it if if you need spin. Because Drill doesn't always want to be running spin if it's Terra. And then Primeape is just four point decent fighting type. This is a pretty this is a pretty fine team. It looks yeah, a lot I worse think, than a first glance. Yeah, I think offensive synergy wise, I think it's pretty solid together. Um Defensively it's yeah, okay. I mean it's not it's not super bad. Worse. I think it's it's it's. I'll give it the possible defensively, given this the state is, of other teams. No, this is no Yahoodles. Yeah, this is this is not Yahoodles' uh, train wreck. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, the ice weaknesses aren't on super great because yeah, you it's big you died a bundle. the Samurott. It's that you died a bundle. Yeah, well, uh, you know, maybe maybe I should give Metal a bit more credit yeah, for his bundle because it seems to destroy every other team. Yeah, apparently, apparently nobody theory. seems to be drafted. In theory, it does. Yeah, but well, whether it won't practice is another question. But I think, I think, I think, I, I, I don't necessarily think this team is amazing. I think, I think, I think it's actually okay. I mean, I'm it torn. Seems okay. I'm torn between like B minus and C plus. Uh, um. Hmm. Maybe I should decide for you for once. I've been, cause I've been. I feel like I've been a little, a little harsh. I feel like I've been handing out a lot yeah. of C's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, it's a lot of I, negative energy, I, you know. I don't think love C's, I, love D's. I, there's only two D's, and there's been a lot of C's. I feel like I don't know if this team is better than some of the other teams we talked about, though. Um, I mean, it's got a pretty decent ceiling, I think. Uh, you know, what? and it's not. It's I don't think it's like. It has like too many weaknesses as well. Yeah, like it's not yeah. like the ice. It's, it's, thing. it's just, I, it's just, I think another fast thing would be really nice, just so you aren't as reliant on sand. You know, and he's you know, got keep, at least some pivots. You know, to keep up with my theme of being mean, I am gonna give him a C plus. But uh, I'll be a little bit nicer. I'll make it a C plus plus. C plus plus. Okay. Does it? Does this mean I need to get come up with a ranking now? I fucking do whatever you want, dude. Okay, I am gonna give this a uh, 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 you know, I give up. I I, I was trying, I was tr I was trying to find a team name, but I couldn't find it. So yeah, but that's a bit. Bit underwhelming, huh? Bit underwhelming. Yeah, you kind of flopped. No, oh. I thought someone would put it in like the coach reveals, but no one did. No. Oh, stupid ass, non scripted but not really scripted coach reveals. Yeah, coach. We're doing the ra ranking. Yeah, coaches. Speaking of coaches, endless is one of those. The New Jersey Devile Plumes, pretty clever name. Terra Reggie Alecki, yeah. Ogre Pond Wellspring. Ting Lu, Screamtail, Scizor, Weavile, Rotom Heat, Muck, Haunter. Hmm. Hmm. Haunter, Muck, Hall. This. I feel like half of this team is Leaf's team. Is it? I'm pretty sure well, Leaf really? had like it's half just of got the. They had, we had just, it's just that Weavile, middle three. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that could quite so hard. Uh, Terra Regilecki is obviously a good Pokemon. I think I think there's a lot of good Mons drafted on this team. But I don't think it's necessarily all that threatening. Like, Terra Regilecki is very scary. I think Ogre Pond and Weavile are threatening. And that's kind of where the offense is, like, it kind of falls off after that. Like, Scizor isn't as scary this gen it's good priority but it's not this it's not like the threat of scissor and old gens mostly because it doesn't last as long ting lu and screamtail aren't really offensive threats rotom heat's just kind of a freak muck is muck haunter is fine for a one pointer but it's probably it's probably not really gonna be doing all that much if this feels like a team that's trying to like 
All right, has you got to pick up for me. I lost. My oh, game. I have to. You okay, have to it's trying to be a Pokemon draft team, but is it a Pokemon draft team? Well, it is. Yes, it is. So it there you like go. That's the finish your like sentence. Missing something. Probably the I... most competent defensive team we've had so far. Is it? I mean, I feel like this team is tricky to break through. Is it, okay, it has a lot of bulky mons, it's but it's I do think it's mons. also, like... It's, it's pretty exploitable, I think. You, you put, like, a Chiyu versus this team, yum, 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 goodbye no, a team. No, Ting... Okay, hold on, let me get, let me get a cow cop. Tinglu. Tinglu can take no, no, hold on, hold on. I'm, getting, I'm getting that one uh, cow cop. Bro, Tinglu... Yeah. Tinglu... <laughs> Tinglu gets eaten cow. for breakfast, unfortunately. Uh, what was it? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so plus two, um, plus two modest life orb, uh, Chiyu overheat, one shots Tinglu. Okay, nobody drafted Chiyu. Oh, did they? Oh, okay, well, in which case, uh, endless, you've been saved, you have a competent defensive call, well done. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. To be fair, that also means you have to nasty plot and uh, hit the overheat, and also have a life orb and not boost. I think uh, the thing, the th the way I'd pull it is, I think he has decent like defensive mons. It's just type wise, I don't know if they mesh. They mesh okay. brilliantly together. Yeah, I, I like that Screamtail can cover fighting types for Tinglu. Yeah, but I still think there's like all right. If we're saying this is like a really good defensive team, I don't. I, don't I think, think it's okay. a good. I think okay. it's good. Me, I think it's me, good. Let me backpedal. I, th I did not say yeah. it was really good. I said it was the best so far. Look at the competition. I the don't. Competition I don't know if I agree. agree. I don't know if I. We can agree to disagree. The competition good is defensive mons. He has meta. good defensive mons. I'll, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, it's uh, kind of it's kind of lacking that oomph. That I feel like a team in this gen needs. Aside, it's it's got Terra Regieleki, and a lot of stuff that can be threatening, but I don't necessarily think it's enough. Oh, actually, you know, I just remembered, bro. Did you watch his Week One game? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, he played the Cinder Race and, and got basically swept by Scarf Cinder Race. Oh uh, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. So even though the Chiyu thing didn't come to fruition, I could be wrong about that actually. Okay. Um. Well, Send the race, yum yum yum. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have, I don't, I, I've run out of, of things. Yeah, yeah, it certainly has like, I think there's one water resist as well. It's Ogre Pond, which is a pretty good yeah. water resist. Yeah, it's a good one. But, but you know, offensive Cramorant, you know, offensive Cramorant. Yeah, Cramorant's gonna fuck you up, man. <laughs> Teleport, yeah. dude. Yeah. Don't play Nozomat. Yeah, Nozomat. Oh, well, he's in the other pool. He's in the other pool. Yeah, I'm other sorry. Other I'm sorry, Nozomat, but maybe in playoffs, yeah, your time this... will come. I think this team is just kind of, uh, mm, uh, Oh, so I feel like this team really doesn't like spikes. Yeah, it has Reggie, like Spin, Scizor, Defog. Yeah, but, but they're uh, they're both grounded mons as well, uh, and I think like neither like a lot of his defensive mons just uh, don't like. Ha I don't think this is up. like the worst team, but it's I think yeah, it is it's, on the lower end. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super high on the team, but I don't think it's the worst team I'm we've gonna seen. I'm going to give it a D plus. Oh, so, right. It, uh, special offense-wise, yeah, this offense. team is also it's, it's kind of... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Regieleki, essentially, which... I mean, if, it, if, if you aren't able to spam your electric moves, then... It's not that good. I don't know. I guess he has Haunter. I don't, does that count, Haunter? Uh, the special bit. breaker for the team? Endless, your team has caused endless, um, something negative. Yeah, uh, we... I would, I would say, um, I would rate this, um, low tier god out of from <laughs> standard. God. All right, I'm going to put in the next person now. It's Mr. A Panda with the Winnipeg Pokemon Club with Terra Iron Boulder, Darkrai, Rotom Wash, Donphan, Klefki, Amoongus, Infernape, Munchlax, Crocodile, Crocodile, Lilligant. 
with Terra. Bro, is it is it bad? I'm so trying to look for Fist of Doom's team now, but I still can't find it. <laughs> for the updated one. You can ask him. Yeah, I'm gonna Call ping up him. Fist to your Doom. At Fist to your Doom. But uh, we got Terra Iron Boulder, which is, in my opinion, a slightly unproven commodity. But it's paired with Darkrai, which I I don't like the speed tiers being so close. But I don't think Darkrai is that bad of like a choice to pair with it. Because you got, you got the physical Scary Breaker, and you got the Dark Rye. You got Rotom Wash, which is good on every team. You got Don Fan, yep. which is also pretty good on like every team. Klefki's a decent spiker steal. It's annoying. Uh, Amoongus is a poison type. I'm not really sure why the Amoongus... Let me think why the Amoongus is here. Soft Among Us. I love Among Us, but... What, um, why is the Amoongus here? Um, well, okay, well, because I, I'm not relying on fucking Tower Lilligan to uh, take... Um, so I mean, I mean, Mingus is fine, I think, with like Rotom Wash. Yeah, I guess it uh, he takes pressure off of Rotom Wash to take. Uh, yeah, hits. and like Don Fan as well. I think Don I think Fan. that's yeah, like it, it helps, fine it and helps. Defensive. I figured it out. Uh, I think yeah. Infernape is actually great here. It helps. It helps try and fix the speed tiers, which are very messy. Yeah, because it goes. I mean, I goes... I think I think it's okay as well because it's like yeah. uh, it's a good it's a decent enough scarf for yeah, with a, like. Yeah, it goes from Boulder to Infernape and then to Rotom Wash. Yeah, that's that's the the shaky part. Uh, Munchlax. And Crocolore and Lilligant. Terra Lilligant can definitely win you games. Yeah, no, I, I think I think as a second Terra user, that's yeah, it's Effie, a great, like, great second Terra user. Crocolore yeah, without Terra, I'm not very high on. I mean, it's one point. It's the end one of the point. Day. I don't so care that it's, much. it's probably. I don't it's, care that much. It's fine, fine enough, man. Munchlax. Have you seen the state of some of these other one pointers yeah. that have been drafted? Mm -hmm. Blitzel. Uh, <laughs> and then Big Munchlax, he's just chilling. I feel like Munchlax is not nearly as effective this gen because a Spectre is way better. Uh, you know what? I actually have found the... Um, I, I was going to say how I feel like... Um, I prefer how Doki the Dingus drafted around Darkrai. Although, I guess it you got it round two, so it's yeah. not really as bad. And I realized the Amoongus is the only fighting resist. Which, uh... Yeah. Well, it's a good thing there's no Megas here. Otherwise, Mr. Mega Galades... Mm -hmm. Is gonna leave you with a nasty surprise, perhaps. Yeah, it's a good thing you drafted Infernape as one of the only fighting types that's gonna consistently get past them. Yeah. I think I think as well, like offensive grounds like Compressor Rotom Wash mm -hmm. are gonna be pretty annoying too. Because uh, if you bring it Lilligant, you're probably gonna terror it, and because Lilligant has no coverage, you're probably not gonna keep the grass typing. So yeah, it's it, it essentially does becomes Rotom Wash being like the only real ground resist on the team yeah uh, not great especially if you happen to have i don't know a terra x coming up against a terra excadrill for example dude that terra excadrill is actually gonna ruin every team we've talked about so far <laughs> actually, i feel you know man. maybe i was a little too mean to fist's team i'm starting to think yeah, he was a visionary yeah he he, he falls all he, he, if he got that plus iron bundle he he was set that's what i'm saying set in theory uh yeah I I don't I don't I I like this team a little bit. It's it's okay yeah it's it's it, yeah I un, like it's got decent bulk decent, decent offense. Bulk. It's got some nice utility. I don't yeah. think I think there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, um, unfor unfortunately, I can't rate it higher than C plus because otherwise I'd have to go back in time and change my ratings of Fist's team. So it's unfortunately stuck with a C plus grade. Man, ruined by Fist. Ruined by. F Ruined by me being too mean to fist. Oh wait, is um Don Fan the only removal as well? Uh yeah, but I think that's fine. Yeah, well it's the only thing is as well is it's Rocks either Infernape, which I think you want to run other moves on Infernape, and Don Fan as well, so yeah. Don Fan kind does of Does Iron Boulder like, get rocks? No, it doesn't have okay. rocks. That's kind of a fraud. Kind of a fraud. I'm still gonna I'm I'm not changing my mind. I already typed in yep. the C. Okay, fine, fine. I'll give it a um you give it an A. You never walk alone out of um I don't know. 
Darwin Nunes. Preach. Yeah, I, I, and you have no idea what either of those things. Mean. I don't know it's... what you just said. Yeah, all right, but a panda will know what I'm talking about. Speaking, anyway, speaking of things that I don't know what they said, uh, Septile Scythe. Because I don't know what he said lately. Because all he likes to do is sit back and observe. That is true. That, that is, is true. true. But he certainly did not sit back and observe with this team. Because he went hard with the Spectre, Terra Sneasler, Raging Bolt, Rillaboom, Tinkaton, Blastoise, Quillfish Asui, Rhyperior, Krikatoon. I think this is a much better Spectre Sneasler team. I uh, They both have Spectre. This is, I think this one is much, much better. Because yeah, one, yeah, I, I would, I would, I would have to agree. There's, yes, there's more good Pokemon. I really like Blastoise here. Yeah, I, I, I think like it's Raging good. Bolt. Rillaboom yeah, is like obviously so good. is on both. I think Tinkaton's a nice utility mon, which yep. is something that Yehudel's team could have used a lot. Uh, Quillfish Asui is a decent, cheap poison spiker. Terra Rhyperior. Is not a bad backup terror. It gives you a, a, a it being the ground. Type, I think it's good. I, I think, think terror appear is good. good like the like, okay, so obviously if, like one thing was the lightning rod um meme that um that he showed versus meta, but also like solid rock with terror allows you to sell up really easily because mm-hmm. I mean the issue with like Pira is that it has like a really a really shit shitty type defensive thing. typing, but like with terror like that could be that's completely changed and it has like really good coverage as well. Yeah, like you can you can do like a lot of really good things with Terra Rapira, so mm-hmm. yeah, I rate that Terra pretty highly. Yeah, Flip I rate Blastoise early. a lot this gen too. See. Raging Bolt, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good mon. Rillaboom. I don't like, solid. I don't like defensive Blastoise quite as much this yeah, gen. I like I offensive kind Blastoise, of a forward. but yeah, offensive Blastoise solid. It's great, uh, and I think like if this team wants to go aggressive, it can. I think Blastoise is good enough to be yeah. defensive here. With Tinkaton and like Quillfish yeah. Riperior. And then like there's just a there's just a lot this I feel like this seems just very scary to fight. Mm. Cause Spectre Sneasler is a really good offensive core and you back that up with extra with more offense that like is very threatening. As well as like Pokemon that can take hits. Yeah, I I would agree. Uh, this is just this is just a very this is a very just a very solidly built team. It's 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 kind of ground weak, but there's a Rillaboom to help ease that. Yeah, no, it is it is it is very ground weak. Yeah, um, and uh, obviously, and well, I think dude, fist fist is an innovator. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not even just that you can run like like other. You have to run earthquake to get yeah, around. Run high horsepower. This team's yeah, get exactly. Destroyed. So. So you better. Yeah, but but you know you know Septile Scythe, he's got the horse, man. He's got the best horse in the format. So. Mm-hmm. You know he's he's on a high horsepower. Yeah, I think. Um, it's yeah. So I think aside from the ground weakness, I don't think it's anything like super glaring. Yeah, I mean only one fair resist, but I think Tinkerton's fine Tinkerton's enough. A good, as a fair, Tinkerton's a good fair fine. resist, and it's not yeah. like you're super fairy weak. No, no, like the only exactly. fair weak Pokemon. Is and really like, cool. and Caesar can pressure them like offensively. Yeah, so I, so I think like that that one's dudes. fine. Yeah, I don't really... I don't think I see too many I, I, I rate this team. I rate this team a lot. So much so that I'm going to give it an A for awesome. It's an awesome team. The Septile Super Kings, drafted by Septile Scythe. Septile Super Kings. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. What on earth? Did you not see that? That... that, that is that actually his team name? Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so if you're losing some points with me for that team name, that's some. Is that gonna, that's do, a, is that gonna dock your uh, uh, pretty pretty mid ass name? I'm not gonna lie. Um, but you know, at least I can remember the Septar Super Kings on like some other teams' names. Yeah, well, you can't. You don't seem to be able to remember Fist's team name. No, no, I unfortunately don't. Um, I don't know if I should just sit back and observe and not give a team rating, but I'll give him a. Young Bishop out of B-Pune. That's a little mean. Out of B-Pune? I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, you can you can judge that based on what you think. But no, I think I think this team. That's, I think that, this is definitely one of the better teams we've seen. Disrespectful for like the like the second best second best or best team we've seen so far. 
Well, I'm not saying it's a young bishop who drafts. Well, I'm just saying it's a young bishop I'll be peeing. Like, I don't know. Could that, that be that good? Could that be bad? You, who knows? I mean, uh, I, 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 I haven't. I, I couldn't tell you what any of my ratings actually mean. Um, but anyway, I think we can move on. All right. Next up, we got Manau. As we now take a look at the Fresno Flygons with Iron Valiant, Corviknight, Kyrim, Terra, Slow King, Claude Sire, Incineroar, Shaman, Kilowattrel, Mousehold, Doxbund. Is that another Terra Kilowattrel? Oh. Yeah, Terra Kilowattrel's Terra. This is a strange team. That Corviknight was drafted very early. Yeah. It, it definitely, well, I think it was just like, I think you could definitely could have waited for that a bit longer. Yeah, the round two um, Corviknight, very early. I, I, I have, I'm going to talk about what I like first. I think Iron Valiant yep. is obviously super versatile. I like Terra Kirim as just like a scary ass Terramon. I like Slow King on his team because you can pivot into Valiant or Kirim really easily. Uh, Cla Claude Sire Corviknight is a very good defensive core, as I learned when I won Let's Make Big Moves 2023 OU singles. Flex. Flex. Uh, Incineroar, I, I forgot that Incineroar was even in this gen. Honestly, so I, I, I would have forgotten if it was for VGC, but yeah. yeah. I guess. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think this team, it's okay, I'd say. It's, all right, I feel like it's kind of got the same problem that Endless's team has, where there's not really enough offense. But uh, I like the offense better. I think I think the offense is okay. I think I like the offense a little bit better because it's, it's like it's more than just one Pokemon. Because you got Valiant, you got Kieran. yeah. I think I think I think the offense is possible enough. Yeah, um, and the defense. I mean, there's a lot of fat on this team. Yeah, yeah, I think the defensive mons. Um, this is the best defensive mons that we've seen. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to see if I can find any like glaring holes. Um, but I might be missing something. Tara Hannah, Reggie Alecki. I mean, sure, but you know, you have Terra Killer Watchful for that. That's the oh, counter. So yeah, yeah, no, this seems pretty, this seems seems pretty solid. Uh, it's very solid to me. defensively, which probably super weak to something. But I, I generally can't. I generally can't, got to off top. We haven't thought of what it's super weak to. Yet. Unfortunately, I did not do prep for this. So you got. Uh, actually, no, I have found some some issues. I think hazard control is pretty it's got pretty Corbin dodgy. Night. It's got it's monocorvonite removal, which is okay. I give our pass. It's got and mouse hold. It's got mouse hold. Oh right, yeah, it's got mouse hold. I keep it's getting mouse hold. And then it's got Clodsa. It's the only hazard setter, which yeah, I think I've... is like. I I think you could explain that. That that, that that's I think more of an issue than mono removal. Yeah. Corvinite, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That, that's that, that, that's what I was getting to. to yeah. Set hazards. This feels like a team. Where I feel like this style of team was a lot better last gen. Yeah, just probably. Just drafting a bunch of fat models. But, I mean, he has some fast things on these. You got some, the speed is fine. You got Kilowattrel, yeah. you got Valiant. I don't really want I to mean, kill I think some of these like Game bulkier Kirim. mods can go offensive with setup. Yeah, and then I will um, say the gap between Kurum and everything else is like, it's pretty steep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, va but, I mean but Valiant. You got, but you, but like, you have some good. You have some pretty reasonable fast mons. Yeah. And I think Shaman is good value for for what it is. No, I agree. I think I I think I think this team I think this team's okay. Team um, is okay. Yeah. It yeah it's it's not this bad. Team is worthy of a C. Man, you're giving everything a C. I did not give Septile Sight's team a C. No, oh, it's a figure of speech. Yeah. Oh, yes. I figured out what you mean. Uh, yeah, I'll give this a um, rest in peace, roost flygon. Out I forgot of about that. That's so fucked up. Did anyone draft flygon? 
No, because thank it's just God. not very good. Just... Oh, thank God. Poor sod. I might even know what I'm going to give out of. Now, now we're on to the next team. Castellia, who does not have a logo or a team name. I think I think I would, uh, she's getting one commissioned. I yeah, think. it'll it'll be here in the next video that we make. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. I see a ping. Oh no, it's from you. No, never mind. I thought it was fish to your doom. <laughs> no. I thought you found it. No, I didn't. I didn't oh, find okay. it. I was yeah, I was trying yeah. to look for it. I just couldn't find it, no, so man. I pinged him about it. All right. So we got Terra Gouging Fire Meow Scarada, stolen. Yep. Keldeo. Uxi, Sandy Shocks, Tentacruel, Skarmory, Florges, Mimikyu. This might be the first team we've seen where I think all nine Pokemon are, like, legitimately bringable. Um... I feel like... I feel yeah! Like, like, yeah, I, feel like, I mean... Yeah, where I feel like I would be okay... Like, okay, I wouldn't call every single one of these Pokemon great, but I do think they're all bringable, yes. I, I'd I'll say agree like eight and a half statement. because Mimikyu, but, like... Everything else, I wouldn't be upset to bring the rest of these. Nah. Uh, Terra Gouging Fire is really good, and then Meow Scarada is really nice speed to pair with it. Keldeo is interesting to pair with it, because it's like, it can pivot, and it can like, specially break for Gouging Fire, which I think was the, I think yeah. that's the intent. Yeah, I actually, I actually think Caldeo, Caldeo for 12 points, I definitely think it's, like, very yeah, it's, drawable. It's nice, it's not, yeah, it's, it's, it got, it's got priority as well, which I like. I think priority is, like, very, very valuable. Yeah, it's got, um, it's, got too. it's got its priority. I think Uxie is great on this team. It's just a nice little utility mon. Yeah. Sandy Shocks fits. Tentacruel's here to spin. Yeah, pretty much. And maybe be, like, a bulky water. Skarmory is here to be a steel type, and... Fill the roles that a steel type needs to fill. Yeah, it should. It can't defog anymore. But I still think like Skarmory had like four move slot syndrome anyway, so I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. Yeah. You should take your hazards. You have you have and... Tentacruel to do your removal. It doesn't just yeah. Florges still get defog. I don't think so. Yeah, well, it's got Terra Florges just like Pasta Supper, and then Mimikyu is like a decent low tier. I I have I've 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 listened up on my Mimikyu slander recently. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's that cheap to be honest. But... Uh, that's my fault. Yeah, because I, I, I kept talking I kept talking shit on it. Yeah, it sucked. One thing but... that's really weird is I thought this whole team fits in like one like speed tier category, like between ninety and hundred. I always yeah, well, like Florges. the exact except, same speed there. Except is... Scar Scarmory and Florida's are out of it, but the rest of yeah. them, this is a very fast Yeah, team. besides like Keldeo and Meowskar, I just find it really weird. Yeah, like, the, um, this is a reasonably, like, nothing on this team is super slow, which, yeah, I don't think is that, I, I don't know how big of a deal that is in this gen, because, like, no, I think, I mean, you may just need a lot of, like, really fast stuff. Um, yeah, and this team could definitely I think... go fast. Yeah, I think it's, it's... Built, I think it's built around Terra gouging fire pretty well. Yeah, I'd say I'd I'd say it's solid. I think uh, like it's not perfect. I I I think I think actually this team's pretty decent defensively as well. Yeah, I like, like the Yuxi like defensive like... core. The I guess the only issue I have is that you could argue it's like slightly passive, but I think all these I think if you play it smart enough, it's got, um... it's got passive mons, but like. They can get and around, most of them get can get around there. Um, like, like, Skarmory. Skarmory can um, body press. You just, you, just got, you just got to double with it when you know. Yeah, Skarmory can um, body press shit. Yeah, so you yeah. Just double with it. San oh, not Sandy Shocks. You see his U-turn and knockoff. Does still have knockoff, actually? Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, U-turn, um, knockoff, T-Wave. Tentacle can flip turn or cause uh, sludge bomb poisons. Uh, Florges. Well, just can baton pass. Florges can baton pass, and it's not that weak. No, it, it, I mean it hits with Terra, hard. It's with just Terra, it's you can actually months. hit pretty hard. Oh, is it Terra as yeah, well? It's Terra. Okay, yeah, yeah. In which case, yeah, this that's fine. Not looking at the stream. Yeah, sorry, I looked away for a second. Um, yeah. I think this is just a two this is one. A, this is a this is another pretty good team. Yeah, yeah. I I think it's. I think. I mean, yeah, I think it's um, reasonably solid. I think the uh, yeah the only other issue I think 
Actually, no, no, I take that issue back. I take that issue yeah, back. You know what? And just, like, I don't have an issue. I don't, I don't have an I issue. I don't think it's like the best team that we've seen, but you know, this one gets this one gets an A minus for me. Yeah, I, I think, think I think I think like as like a bulky team goes, like this it's is good. like yeah, it's decent. I think it's got, it's got good um, bulk, good offense. Yeah. it's just good. It could be a little better, but I'm not. I it like that's I'm just being anal at that point. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I don't think it's like the best team we've seen, but I yeah. think it's a solid effort, I'd say. It's a solid effort. Speaking of the best teams that we've seen, oh god. Uh, Vinny the Winnie, <laughs> oh, no. another pheasant dippity pheasant fucking shitty toilets. I want to put my head down the toilets. <laughs> yeah, with Terra Latios, Greninja, Iron Tread, Zapdos. Our Terra Arcanine Hisui, Ursarang Comfey, Decidui Hisui, Arbok Spiritomb. I was about um, to say this team is really slow, and then I remember there's a Greninja. I was like, okay, I take that back. I would have lied. Okay, well, I've, I've left my drafting Sando to Leafs uh, thing, so we'll, we'll talk, actually talk about the team for this one. Mm. Um, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's, it's pretty pretty good i think terra latios is a pretty good choice greninja is good in this gen iron treads is like whatever utility is yeah, is yeah solid. it's roll compression terra arcanine there's a pretty good top five i'm not as big on the next five pokemon like ursaring is all right i think i think I'm, arcanine it's super light on terra i think yeah uh, otherwise it just i think it just ends up being like because it's the uh, defense type is just so awkward. It's so, it's so um, I mean, it's it's still like it's a good secondary terror, but at the same time, um, I kind of feel like as like a fifth. But I'm 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 being a bit nitpicky here. I, yeah. I do admit. Yeah, you but... are. No, no, I'm 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 still gonna say it. Like just as like, I don't know. It, it's like a mon. I don't think it's a mon you could bring to every game, and it's his fifth pick. Yeah. If that I makes think, sense. As the problem is, is that like you have four. I think it was four. Like the, like with with Terra Arcanine. I think top four can fit. come every week, and top then he just pick him between really the good, last and two. And it's just like the rest of them. I think like... I think he can. I think there's still like enough. It's not like Yehudos where it becomes so down bad. I think all these mons still at least offer something to where it's still yeah. workable. Like Earthring's got some nice Eviolite bulk. Come phase a fairy that kind of speaks for itself. Sigui resists that, and it's got. Does it have spikes? I think it has spikes, and it also can defog. Arbok is the two point poison of the week, and then Spirit Tomb is just like a spin blocker. Yeah, yep. then you got Rockers, Iron Treads, Arcanine, Spikers, Greninja, Decidueye. I think it's a pretty fine team. I. It's a little. It, it doesn't necessarily like Terra Excadrill very much. No, I, I was going to say, so <laughs> it really does don't not think like it, I don't think it likes Iron Bundle either, to be honest. <laughs> it does not like Excadrill, Terra Excadrill or Iron Bundle. Yeah, as we've learned, Excadrill, Iron Bundle, next next Gen 9 draft you do, that's all you need, apparently, to beat every single team. Um, Yeah, I actually, I don't have too much to say about it. I think I think it's like... It's fairly like, solid. It's, it's one like, of the better teams, I think. Yeah, I think I would have liked maybe like another Scarfer. Yeah, um, you got like. Because I think I think the Scarfer was kind of air. Um, yeah. you don't, you have I mean, you can obviously run like a boost energy um, elephant thing. Oh my god! Treads. But I'm so goddamn Iron tired. Treads. I can't even think. I can't even think anymore. But, Iron treads. I think, yeah. yeah. I, I think this is a pretty pretty fine team. It's gonna get a B minus from me. I'll give it a Winnie out of um, Whimsicott plus a Wishy Washy. <laughs> All right. Uh, who is next? Oh, it's Mustang. Mustang, I caught a lot of heat during his during the drafting process because of a certain decision that he made. No. But uh, I think with the power of hindsight, uh, it was a what, what? All right, so what decision was this? Brooklyn Brelooms. We've got Garchomp, Territor, Necrozma, Quackwavol, Regular Superior, Revivroom, Grimmsnarl, Golurk, Electrode. 
I love our electrodes. It was definitely the the Grim Snarl raised a lot of eyebrows uh, during the drafting process. But I'm gonna look at this team with an open lens. I think the top four picks are all pretty good. Garchomp's a good Pokemon. Yeah. Ter- Terratorn is is pretty good. Necrozma is not as good as it was last gen, but it's still it's still Necrozma. Yeah, it still he, he didn't terror it as well, which is interesting. Terror. But I guess like points wise, I don't yeah, think he could. He, he did, he, well, both. with the Crim Snarl, he couldn't afford it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Quackwavol is a pretty good, nice, pretty nice option. It yep. is also the team's only removal, which it's not great at doing that. I don't think it really wants to be that. But uh, you got regular superior, decent. Ground resist. This team does not insta lose to Excadrill. This team beat the Excadrill yeah. allegations, in spite of the fact that the next Pokemon is Reverb. But does it beat the Iron Bundle allegations? I don't know. It it, it might. Yeah. It right. Might no. Be. He has Electrode. He has Electrode. He has Electrode. He's, he beats. He, he beats Electrode. Mustang beat the allegations. He's gotta he go beat alert. the allegations. And Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is. I think screens are actually nice for this team, especially for Quackleval and Garchomp. Yep. And a crossbow. Honestly, screens are nice for this team. Yeah, and screens nice are very pivot, good for this which team. Which is why the Grim Snarl slander is being removed. I understand what you were thinking now, Mustang. Uh, Golurk is decent low tier option. I think Electrode fits better on this team. Although I feel yep. like a lot of it, what it wants to do, can be replicated rep- replicated by Grim Snarl. Except of course when it comes to checking Iron Bundle. Yeah, that's true, man. It doesn't outspeed the Iron Bundle. It doesn't outspeed the Iron Bundle, which luckily... Although Grimstar can prank or T-Wave it. Yeah, it can, but... Um... And then it'll click uh, that one move. What, what if it's Lumberry, huh? Uh, Well, then it's not Boots. That is true. And Mustang's um, re- uh, hazard setting isn't fraudulent, unlike some other teams. and Necrozma, and Reverberum has T-Spikes. And if you really want, you can run rocks on Golurk. The beast. Golurk, did the Glob Town to pick that or something? I don't know. I, 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 I trust in Mustang. I mean, I look, I think, I think, I, I like Golurk. Yeah, um, I, think, I, I, I hate think... the fact it's lost rock polish, because I yeah, think that, like, that takes, like, a pretty big wink on out of it, because... Mm-hmm. I think otherwise it just becomes too slow, and I just don't think the bulk, like no, quite, it have enough yeah, bulk. good enough. It I think have it, enough actually, I think the bulk offense. was good enough in Gen Eight, but it was Gen good Nine, in Gen 8, this Gen I, I'm not as sure. If it had so. a better defensive typing, it might be enough, but it doesn't. Yeah, so yeah, go look. It's just I, 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 yeah, I just don't rate it. I, I love go look a lot in Gen Eight, but this Gen. Yeah, no, I, I think Mustang actually drafted a pretty, a pretty good team, which is. Sh- Shocking, um, considering how well, much... Okay, I have slander. noticed some other things. So, only um, Fairy Resist is Room. Which, so, to be fair, it can handle a lot of fairies. But can it handle Terra Fairy Excadrill uh, in the sand? I think it can't handle Excadrill at all. <laughs> no. I think if you Terra then, Fairy it, it actually makes the River Room easier to and then the um, Excadrill. But yeah, that I is think the only the only ghost resist is the Grimstar, mm. and is Grimstar a Pokemon? Yeah, uh, kind of. Yeah, well. Well, Torn can also function as that. That's what that's what's great about Terra Torn here is that it can yeah. it can be flexible with the check. With yeah, check, pretty much. Which actually, which kind of kind of kind of kind of helps save. The, I feel like this team, each pick saves the next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess it's one way of drafting. Uh you know what? I think it was pretty effective. Yeah. I'm yeah, thinking... I, 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 I think, I think, I think, I think this team. It, yeah, it's not bad. Pre- say it's I, I like this team actually. Solid, I'm gonna give this team. team. I'm gonna shock the world. Give this team a B plus. B plus. That, you know, I was. I'm gonna give it a um. Kill yourself, blitz. Uh, I'm not doing the accent because I'm not a racist. Oh, you're, gonna but... us, you're gonna get us demonetized. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Um, Keep yourself kiss safe. Kiss yourself, Blitz. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my box next. too. Uh, it's Golden Cyber. Golden Cyber is next. GLD. The Moss Deep Meteor Mashes. Not Meteor Mashers. Meteor Mashes. Don't make that mistake. With Dio okay. Speed, Urshifu Singletara, Lando T, Cinderace, 
your favorite Zoroark Kasui, Archaladon, wow. Diancie, Samurott, Swallow. He's back. Uh, Diancie also has Terra. This is like a seven mon. This is like a six mon team. I don't want to include Zoroark in that. Yeah. Because Sam Samurott and Swalot are like... <laughs> but, to his credit, pretty good 6-mon team. Dio Speed is fast as fuck. Terra Urshifu is very scary. Because unlike regular Urshifu, it, it hits so hard that you can justify it being slower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think, I think it's nice with Dio Speed as well. Because yeah. I think... Uh, one of the biggest issues of uh, Ashivu is the speed tier, and mm -hmm. he's got a mixed array of speed options, uh, ranging from good to Zorokasui. But mm -hmm. yeah, you know, okay, Zorokasui, it's all garbage. Cinderace, it's all garbage. Cinderace is a good speed option. Uh, yeah, Cinderace, like, is, Cinderace is not bad. I think yeah. I've, I've discovered how bulky Archaladon is. Yeah, that thing is actually on the physical side. That thing's actually really fat. This team is a bit lacking when it comes... I feel like this team is very susceptible to special attackers, though. Yeah. Like, there's not really I a mean, good special hit taker. Besides, like, I guess Diancy can be... Diancy kind of has to be, because, like, everything else is, like... I don't think anything else has a special defense stat above 90. Uh, what? I don't... I can't remember what... I know Swallow is, like, 100 HP. I, I think it's, it, like, no, 80... It has, it's 83. Left. It's 83. 83. So... And that's also a Swallow. Yeah. Do be so gulping. it's kind of got a special defense issue. It's got a, it's very nice on the physical side though, because you got Archaladon and then Lando T can help. Earth you you know what else I've noticed? Um, oh, does it lose to Terra Excadrill? I think it might lose to Terra Excadrill. Oh, there's Obviously, a Lando. Landorus... There's a Lando. Lando. Well, in the past, my friend, in the past, but when you terror your Excadrill and give it perhaps a water or an ice type. Uh, well, this guy actually drill. Well, then, then he falls to however, his knees. I feel like then you fall to the issue of you just ran a Terra Ice Excadrill, and I feel like that's yeah, okay. Well, I'm, well, I'm really up using running ice, is all I'm saying. Yeah, like Terra Water uh, actually is not that bad, but if you're running Terra Ice Excadrill, are you or or he can be a beast wrong. and he can run Magnet Rise, Ex like Magnet Rise. Okay, I maybe you shouldn't be electric, but okay, well. Maybe maybe you don't need to change types actually. No, no. I may actually was just kind of good regardless. But anyway, um, yeah. I don't. Are there any other significant weaknesses? Um, you know, actually, this team does seem susceptible to a bit of nozomatory. I think. Well, Nozobat's in the other div. Yeah, so that doesn't really mean much. And yeah, plus, it doesn't mean much. Uh, I think I think Dio speed can outspeed the rain. So yeah. But can it outspeed? Actually, actually wait, wait, does it out? No, actually, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, Scarf. Scarf Dio Speed should outspeed. Are you running Scarf? If you're Barrow running Scarf Dio Speed, then I think the rain team. No, I mean, no, I mean, Barrow Scooter should outspeed Dio Speed in the you're, rain. We're right? worried about something in the other div. No, I don't care, man. Playoffs. Those are my, he's making playoffs, as we all know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, anyway, anyway. Um, is Samurai a real mon? Regular Samurai, mm, I guess. No. I guess it's not horrible. It's like a mixed attacker for. I can't tell how many points because it's it's gone to one forty four p. But sorry, it's um, two points. I don't. I, I don't really think it's a Pokemon. I think it it's okay. It being the only water is a bit soft, so. That's actually the that's the real shit. Yeah, that's that's a bit. Uh, yeah. Not, not sure I feel about that, but all in all, um, oh, actually, wait, hold on a minute, wait, 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 hold on. Uh, it's only removals to send the race, which I mean, you have a Dio Speed and a and a Diancy and a Lando, and they all want to set hazards, and then you're just gonna court change to get your hazards. So I don't know. I feel that feels like a bit anti synergy there. Not having any way to remove any sort of hazards besides Cinderace. Yeah, that's a... Uh, feels a bit th dodgy okay, when you're well, running we, hazard well, let's not. We, we can all agree that this team could have been a little bit better. Yeah, it could have. But I don't think it's... I, don't, I, think it's, I think it's solid. It's... Solid it's better snake. than some of the other teams. It's not as good as the others. I think it will lose to Terra Excadrill. 
Possibly. I and mean, uh, Landorus in theory, it should be a very good extra draw. And, and Iron, but... it also loses Iron Bundle. So let's just let's just throw, throw in the towel. Yep. Next draw, it does not pass the extra draw Iron Bundle test. This one gets a grade of loses to Terra X Kadrill. AKA. You know, I, I swear for half these teams, they probably, they probably, they probably don't actually hard lose to Terra Extra Drill, but it's, it's just funny. It's saying. funny. It's, it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny it's, to laugh. We're going, it's, we're going is, with the uh, whole. Yeah, this is a mistake. this is a C plus level team, I think. How many comments do you think we're gonna get from people saying, "Oh well, I, if I run such and such now, I don't lose to Terra Extra Drill." Look, they they can be as mad as they want. But speaking of being mad, I don't think this person is all that angry. JP. Well, but, uh, actually, oh, oh, we we're on JP. Okay, sorry, sorry. JP I thought we were on with Gorex. The SL Binfinions. Uh, if you watch Gorex versus Burning, he did not seem very happy during that game. Oh, okay, I didn't watch that game, but I'm going to pay attention to this team with Ogre oh. Pond, Hearth Flame, Palafin, Gliscor, Goldengo, Terra, Noivern. Hatterene, Electros, Smeargle, Probopass, and Wochian. Uh, okay, I currently is... can't see what's on the team, but I remember it has an Ogre Pond and a Wochian. Oh, now I can see I it. just okay. said it! Well, I was only paying half attention is while you were saying Terra it, and Ogre I realized Pond... I couldn't see the screen. Yeah, Terra Ogre Pond paired with Palafin, I think is pretty good. Uh, yep. Terra Noivern is an interesting choice. I don't think it's I think, I bad, think that makes sense. But I also feel like you could have definitely gotten a better Terramon. Um, I mean... It, I feel like I'm, you could have gotten probably, regular Noivern and Terra'd something else. I mean, I guess he's doing it for, like, Terra Boom Burst. Um, I yeah. mean, Hatterene's a pretty good Terra user. Yeah, I feel like Hatterene might have been a much better Terra user. And then you got Gliscor. Glis Glis I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Noivern's on Viable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Terra yeah, Gliscor, Gliscor is yeah, probably Terra, good, Yeah, too. also Gliscor, which meant... Then maybe you wouldn't have spent all your points on a smear goal, a probo pass, and a Wochian. Although I, mean, I, I, I think I, I think, think the Wochian might actually be fine. mandatory on this team. Right, Wochian, that's a beast. Terra Wochian, that's a demon right there. Not even Terra Wochian, just regular yeah. Wochian. I think because like look... do not Terra your Wochian. Just no, uh, FYI, it's not, not it's do not, that. It's not it. it. Uh, I think Ogre but, um... pairs well with Palafin. I think Gliscor pairs well with Goldengo. Noivern and Hatterene are just Pokemon that are solid, I think. Electros is pretty good for a low tier. Yep. Uh, Smeargle, uh, someone else really liked that replay. Quick Feet really liked that replay. Yeah. Well, I think every dev liked it because I think Smeargle dropped in every dev pretty uh, much. Probo Pass is not a Pokemon. Um, I'm, it's I'm a gonna, one pointer, gonna, so like, I, it's, uh, not it's a like Pokemon, whatever. So I, it doesn't matter. Uh, Wochian. Uh, they they really needed to switch into ghost types, so they got a Wochian. Which, to be fair, for six points, and you need just a ghost type switch in. I think that's Smeagle. fine. Smeargle does not count. That thing gets two really KO'd by Spectre. <laughs> what do you mean? I think okay. So I think this team it doesn't have like a ton of weaknesses on paper. Um, like okay, actually. Has a control a bit dodgy. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like it doesn't have removal. Actually, no, it has Noivern. No, it has Noivern. Yeah, it has half train for yeah. um, magic it has Smeargle. bounce, and I guess he has um, like Goldengo Gliscor as well to like kind of control it in that sense yeah. too. Um, I, think I think having Palafin without a good remover though is not good. Yeah, I think I don't know. I think I think the breaking's okay. It could be better for Gen Nine standards, but yeah, probably possible. It's 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 just kind of an okay team. I don't think it's like mind boggling. You no, know, actually, one thing I've noticed is JP. If you're watching this, where's the Wishmon, man? Where's the Wishmon? That's Smeargle. This is this is. This is unbound territory it's Smeargle, for JP. Dude. It's Smeargle. Sme wish Smeargle. All right, I better it's, see Wish Smeargle. It's healing one week. Wish Hatterene. Okay, you know what? You know, okay, I'll give it a pass. Healing Wish. That's close enough. All right, JP, you get you get away with that this time. 
Yeah. But, um, uh, I don't really have anything else to say about JP's team. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's, yeah it's uh, a pretty short one, to be honest. Um, yeah, like yeah Devi Bella has his control. It's, it's got decent momentum options, which I like. It gets in the offense pretty well. Yeah, I'm um, gonna, I I'm, think I'm gonna give this team a C. Our flame and Palafin seem solid enough offensively. Um, it's kind of lacking that oomph. Yeah, it's not it, a super oomphy team, it but it's also juice. not the worst offensively. So yeah, it it can get it can definitely do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't think it's, a, I don't think it's a bad team per yeah. se. It's, it's like, it, yeah, and it's then decent, the last decent. team that we're talking about. After three fucking hours of doing this. Uh, how long? How long are we at the moment? Uh, we're right now. We're at. Is this fifty nine? Fifty nine minutes. We've been doing this for an hour. Okay. Okay, that's not as bad. Yeah, because probably because just, we we probably just, we just started rushing. I just want to go to sleep. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, so tired. I'm so drained. Sorry, I can't really think. Has wants to go to bed. Gorex. <laughs> Socialite Snorlax is Zamazenta crowned. Terra Enet. Slow King Galar. Terrapagos. Swampert. Chestnut. Terra Titan. Sableye. Glaceon. Um, I like this Zamazenta team more than the other one because it has a Terra Enamorous and a Slow King Galar and a yep. Terrapagos and a Swampert. Uh, this team is not bad. Those are all Pokemon. Uh, yes. It's got a Terra Titan, which is awesome. No, I think I think Terra Titan is actually a, a pretty big threat. Like it's really really fat. It's really. Um, fat. It gives him like another like win condition. No, I, I, I fuck with that. Yeah, actually. and you can set up with G King. Yep. Get some shit done. I think I think without uh, um Terra, it it kind of struggles us as like bulky waters, but with Terra, um, it it, it can get around it, which is yeah. nice. Um, I I don't have a ton to say about this team. Um. I mean, in terms of Zama supports, um, let me get a knockoff here. It probably is one. I'm just being super, uh, super, super forgetful. Oh, yeah, that does. That, that is a thing. And now. I also think um, Sableye does. Uh, you might be right on that, actually. I, what do you mean I might be right on Swampert? Yeah, I actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I'm 100% right. Actually, right. I can wait, no, Chestnut gets it as well. Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's, that's, that's a See? good point. See? You were so worried. Uh, this no, team, I'm so tired. I want to go to sleep, does man. Not so, get, does this bro, team get I'm sorry, Gorex. You, you, you picked a bad, bad Tara, spot Tara to be in. Because I just want to go to sleep. But um, uh, does this team get six by Terra Excadrill? I'm gonna say no because Swampert definitely takes anything from plus two. Except if it's Terra Grass, the but then he has a chestnut. Then he, so then he is a, then yeah. he has a fucking chestnut. I mean, okay, actually, aerialize, aerialize, but no, no, I think, I think we're, we're being a bit too, you know, you know, this is, this is, I think, I think it passes the test. Passes, what about? Does it pass the iron bundle test? There's a G king. Um, yep, there's a glaceon. And I a guess. glaceon. I got, yeah, technically. You know what? Gorix, I, I, You've done I it. good job. I honestly, I think this is a pretty, pretty, pretty above average team. I think it flows pretty I think, well. I think, this I think it has cool. a lot of ways to win. It's got some nice bulk. It's got yep. some nice offense. Yep. Uh, it's not like the most offensive or the most offensive, but you know what? It's it's a B grade team, graded to the B. I'm gonna give it a. I'm literally about to go to sleep out uh -huh. of ten. And uh. Actually, yeah. Actually, no, no, no. I actually no. I have found. I have. I've just remembered an issue. With J-Cats brought up, actually, which I actually didn't realize. Uh, do you remember what his speed tiers are? Oh, fuck. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we forgot about it. Oh, we forgot oh, about oh, it. It goes... Oh, B minus, B minus. Oh, no, you don't. Is it too late? It go... Okay, so it goes Zombicenter and Amorous all the way down to fucking Satitan. All what about down what is, to what's Satitan. Terrapagos' speed tier? Oh, right. yeah, actually. Oh, right, actually, yeah, Terrapagos is 85, isn't it? That's still not good. It's still it's not great. Better. Though. It's, still, it's I think better. I think base hundreds can still like not care about their speed tier. Yeah. And that also yeah, goes, you need like, eighty-seven. You need eighty-seven, which is yeah. Terra Excadrill, dude. Excadrill. Dude, it all comes but, back to Excadrill. 
Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. All I'm so, saying is that if Fisk yeah, it, it seems no, just a bit too slow. Just, it's like three stop. mons, and then it's fourth mon seventy three. Which I mean, bro, I think there are whole teams that are faster than. Um, I think I I I think yeah, I think there has I to be the at least one team, team that is, I think, faster that, that's than, faster than, 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 than like all the mons after his fourth team. <laughs> Uh, let me right. think. Actually, does All that right. team? Has, does that I, team you, has, I think we got. I think we got to go to bed. No, 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 no. I'm figuring this out before I go to sleep. Um... Actually, you know we. Okay. We... Yeah. No, no. I've got it. I've got it. Um, look at uh, Stellius team. That's the one I said. I think. What is that? What you said? Yes. Okay, I, I wasn't paying much, I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm, I'm, I need, I need to sleep, no, man. No, I need before, to sleep. Before, end before, the video. End no, the video. We can't end the video yet because we have to figure out who has the best team and who has. I the don't worst care. Team. I don't care. Okay, Let me sleep. I have the best team and Haz has the worst team. We okay, it out. I, I, I'm the worst team. All sure. Right. Haz is gonna go to bed now. Bye bye. Okay. Good night.